The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is a special live fight reaction Thursday night primetime boxing. <laughs> Sir Hey Boa Chuck versus Rafael Ubogwe from Houston, Texas, you know. Listen, man, we got Pops here. You know, he, he came here to come chill with us. Yeah, yeah. And I figure we, 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 we come here and we watch some good Thursday night boxing to support the, the prospects on the come up. You know, it, it, look, Roy Jones Jr. your boxing, UFC fight pass. If you don't got UFC fight pass, well, gosh darn it, I don't have no damn yeah, one for you. He, he's doing it right away. We, we just gonna, listen, we just gonna react to these fights. You got any questions pertaining to the sport of boxing? You know, you got my undivided attention for the next couple of hours. So we'll be here for a couple hey, of hours. Yeah, we, it's great. Um, Roy, Roy Jones is doing the smart way. I would do the same thing. If I don't want to spend a lot of money, I'm I'm just being the only promotional out there. And boxing is going to cost me more money. Well, why not use the UFC pad and save me some money? And this is also sponsored by the great Hyro. Shout out to Hyro. Hyro, great <laughs> to you. We love you here at Two School Sports. Much respect to you, Hyro. Yes, yes. So, um, listen, just to, just to give you guys out there who don't know about these fighters or do know about these fighters but aren't too familiar with what's going on in this card, we'll start with the main event. So, we got... Sergey Boachuk coming off of his uh, devastating knockout loss earlier in the year. You know, Boachuk was on the fast track to doing a lot of um, big things in his career. You know, Boachuk. Yeah, Boachuk. Um, Boachuk was actually you could kind of say he was like the Ukrainian Edgar Belanga of sorts. He was eighteen to know with eighteen knockouts, and um, he went ahead and then he fought Brendan Adams, who we all know Brendan Adams. He's been he's been there with Charlo and guys like that. Adams. Knocked him out and dissected him in the latter part of that fight, and it was a it was up it was a devastating loss for Boachuk. So now, in the main event, this is his uh, first step in rebuilding. He's taking on Rafael Uwogwe from Houston, you know, um, who 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 lost a couple of close split decisions early in his career. So um, yeah, man, it should be, should be, it should be interesting to see what um, happens to uh, Boachuk. Now in the co-main, you got Ali Akhmedov, another fighter who was supposed to. You know, do some big things in his career, and his momentum was completely halted and stymied last December when he fought actually right here in South Florida. Ali Akhmedov fight here in South Florida uh -huh. on the Golovkin Camille Schmetta undercard, and uh, that was the fight where we all found out who Carlos Gongora was. And Carlos Gongora has knocked out Ali Akhmedov. So this is his first wow. fight since that Gongora fight. And then you got a couple other prospects sprinkled in. So look, it should be a good night of boxing right now. You know, you got James Smith and. You know, my, 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 my older brother, Doug Fisher, from Ring Magazine, <laughs> doing yeah. commentary. Twin brother. Uh, my twin brother, he's doing commentary. You know, when, when the fight starts, I'll let you guys know what's going on. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good out of boxing. Yeah. So, we figured, we figured, you know, we, we better not? see you guys. Why not? Why not? What city, what state? Where are you from? Yeah, let us know, man. Let us know where you at. What city, what state, what, comp what, what continent are you watching from? Feel free to drop a comment. We're going to be here for as long as this car lasts, you know. They're fighting in the lovely LA, so I want to give a shout out to my future wife, Sinisa Estrada. Who's the main event? Uh, Sorry, Bochuk is the main event. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Bochuk is the main event. Bo 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 Chuck. Hey, that guy, I was looking on his record too, I did Bo the same thing. Raka Kabuki, what his name Rafael is? Rafael Uboboy? Yeah, he's got 16 and 2 or something like that. He's, he's, you know, 16 and 2, 7 knockers now. Let's see, that's, that's not a sound like they're, they're showing some women's fights. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. So I guess they got some women's boxing to start off. They got che Chelsea Anderson versus some chick named Elvina White. So I don't know who the hell these girls are. We're we going to see what it is, you know, true sports. Yeah. It's the, it's the Serhe Boachuk versus Rafael Uboboe Super Duper. That's it. Live fight reaction if you have against her. You know, let, let us know what you guys uh, think about the fights tonight. You know what I'm saying? Serhe Boachuk, where are you? I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and look, re revisit Serhe Boachuk's amateur background because I know he was a really good amateur. You know, that reminds me of when we went to go see uh, Christy Martin's uh, Yeah, same, same thing. Shout out to my guy, Trick. No taste is good evening. What's up, champ? Good evening, guy. Thank you D, so much. D3340 three, 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 says, Nisa Estrada is the hottest female pound pound fighter. I agree. I agree. Andre says, let's go, Sergey. Sergey Bo and Chuck come back with a vengeance. Yeah, he, he was out. He was, they say he was going to go to his last fight. Yep. He was literally 18 and 18 knockouts. Yeah, that's and, then what I'm fought, and then they filmed him with Brendan Adams on a Thursday, uh, Thursday night card. Just like tonight, you know, he fought on a Thursday night yeah. Ring, yeah. Ring City USA card, and Brandon and Brandon Adams sparked him. Yeah, wow, I'm kind of shocked. He wants that rematch. He said it was a um, in the in a lot of the interviews leading up to this fight. You know, Boachuk said it was a lucky punch. Uh, I don't think so. I think Adams beat the fuck out of him uh, and and really exposed the weaknesses that were there. But that doesn't mean Boachuk can't come back. That doesn't mean he can't rebuild himself. 
boxing all, it's not just about becoming champion, but it's how you respond to your loss. So we're gonna see how two, you know, Ahmedov, Boa Chuck, these yeah. are two fighters that were very highly touted prospects, and this is the first step towards rebuilding. So we're gonna see. Yeah, it's exciting to uh, even be here tonight to watch this out. Uh, well, let's start with these two females. All this is what they're all about. All right, so we got the first the first fight in the card, a, a female fight, some chicks, some women fighting. So. We'll, we'll see what this is about. You, you, and, and the thing, I, I like watching these cards where you don't know everybody on the card because you just never know who, who it is you're watching and who could be the next star of boxing. You could watch one of these cards and find the next Josh Taylor. You know, I remember one time watching the card, Josh Taylor fought Willie really the card. It was it, it was his eighth fight. I never heard of him, never seen him. And, you know, I, I, I saw someone special. So hopefully we see someone like that tonight. Shout out to my guy Andre. Um, Andre says, uh, Mark my words, Possum BT. We will see a new champion next month, and that'll be uh, from San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio. Um, talking about Ban Rodriguez, yeah. When does the fight start for Raphael? It's the main event, so the car just started, so I think you, you got about four or five more fights. So shout out to Slow Tell. I see you, champ. Right now, we're watching a uh, woman's fight right now. I don't want to keep my eyes peeled to it, but I wanted to talk a bit more about Sergey Bochuk's amateur background because my pops doesn't really know much about uh, Sergey no, Bochuk. I, I, I was reading about him earlier too myself. Bochuk, you know, beat some good fighters in the amateurs. Oh shit! I better pay attention, man. These these girls are still on some leather. Yeah, LV, right now it's two women's fighters. Right now you got Elvina White. Chelsea, uh, what's the girl's name? Chelsea something? Yeah. Shout out to Sotelo. He said he got AJ knocking out Alexander Usyk in that first round. We'll see, man. We'll see. Yo. We'll be live next week for that one. I can't wait. I can't wait for that fight. Uh, AJ's going to, uh, I don't think it's going to be that easy, but I don't think it'll be the first round. Oh, look. Oh, shit. She slipped? No, there's a knockdown. By Chelsea. Females are pretty out this Yeah, pretty good. already. I thought this was going to be a banger. You know, Tom Loeffler, this is this is promotion. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom Loeffler's got a history of uh, putting on some Decent. exciting fights. So that, I mean, what's her name? Let back out, though. She gave Oh, she got on the middle of the race. Right? Oh, big right hand. Yeah, out there. One of the best female fights I've ever seen. Oh my God! Oh, you see that's the name you put your old right hand. Uh, I'll tell you the name right now. Chelsea's uh, one of the black. Uh, Elvina White and Chelsea Anderson. Yeah, Elvina White came back. See ya. So right now, if you're just tuning in, though, right now we're currently watching Chelsea Anderson three and zero taking on Elvina White. Uh, yeah, Anderson caught White with a big right hand, dropped her. You know, really sharp, straight, yeah. compact right hand. So, you know, good, good first round. A good way to kick out the car. You know, I was a bit skeptical because you know you get these women fight sometimes. Yes, but you sleep. They don't, they don't, yeah. they don't, they're not, they're not punching with that thump. But you know, it looks like it looks like um, Chelsea Anderson. She's punching with that thump. Yeah. Now, as far as um, Alvina White, they were talking about her, 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 her trainer's buddy McGirt. He's not in the corner with her tonight. Oh wow! He, uh, 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 Eric Brown is actually her trainer tonight. Okay. And Alvina mean, White came out there after she got knocked out. She threw a beautiful right hand and caught and, and touched her. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea. Shout, shout out to my man Trick. He says, "True school. I talk with legends. We did an interview with Roy Jones two weeks ago. Shout out to you, man. That's a good. Wow, time. respect, man. That's a good interview to get. How was that? I'm gonna check that out. Huh. Round round two of Chelsea Anderson versus Alvina White. Yeah. Chelsea Anderson's in black, black and red uh, writing. Right. Alvina's in the white. That's because you remember her name. This is all white. The pit. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let's see how uh, Alvina White can adjust to the knockdown. Because that was wrong. I thought she looked like Sneeze, but she don't look nothing like Sneeze. Ain't none of these blocks. Sneeze looked like I knocked down like that. Ain't none of these blocks. Stop it. Ain't, 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 ain't none of these blocks. Like the girl, I'm gonna tell BT that she looked like Sneeze. Don't, don't, none, don't, none of these blocks. Stop. That kid in blind. Stop it. She's in a different league. That, that wouldn't have happened to Sneeze. She wouldn't have got knocked down like that. Definitely a little more tentative after that, that knockdown. Well, you said about uh, Bird checking the other. Uh, oh, good right hand from Alvina White. And Alvina, Alvina White's starting to close that gap and turn the volume up on these punches. Good left yeah. hook by White. White presses forward. 
Yeah, she's pressing forward. I mean, but I mean, Chelsea's battering her face up, man. Look at her face. Look at the tomato can. The tomatoes. There you go. Good, good uppercut there from uh, Chelsea Anderson. It is worth noting this is a four rounder, so you know we're all, we're damn near halfway through this fight. Yeah, and it's exci it's been exciting, but usually I'm sleeping on these on these girls. So shout out to Roy Jones, team playing. Uh, what are your thoughts on Vitor Belfort uh, knocking out Evander Holyfield and calling out the top boxers and saying they're scared of him? Um, listen, man, I, we were here. If you if you if you missed that live, you really missed out because I was I was extremely animated. I thought it was one of the worst days for boxing yeah. in and a I, long, long time. And I was reading about uh, earlier. Uh, Jake Paul said that uh, he thinks Belfort is uh, is faster than fighting him because I guess uh, Jake Paul's at a football game when he first met. And he oh shit! Dang. Yo, Chelsea Anderson drops Elvita White with a huge left hook again. Now, Team Glenn. Elvita White is having a hard time standing up straight. She's done. She's done. Wow. Yo, that's Chelsea White. Chelsea with me. Anderson. Yeah, she's seen no joke. She got knocked off twice. But back then, I was saying about uh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul said he met up for the first time at a Michigan football game. He bought his son to sign an autograph. And, uh, Belfort was trying to give him a dirty look while he, while he tried to sign an autograph. And, and Jake Paul said, what's wrong with you, dude? What's going on? It's on boxing TV. He came out and said that. What's wrong with you? What you want to do? What's wrong? What, what the hell do you want? I'm trying to watch a football game. You're going to be stupid. Like, what the hell? So Jake Paul came out and said, he's very fascinated to fighting him, but I, 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 that fight's not going to happen. Second knockdown fight the second interview was done on uh you on drew Titan show on youtube was dope that was the first youtube show roy has ever been on outside of a big time yeah shout out shout out shout out Check to him it man. Out. shout out yo she's just still not playing man yeah, Chel oh, Chel Chel playing. chelsea anderson she's throwing them you know grown woman punches yeah. to be you know grown woman but she beat she's she's really throwing these punches these sharp straight compact wow. punches that are getting the attention of chelsea of uh, alvina uh, white and uh, she got done. two knockdowns. I mean, I think I think a third knockdown here, and, and you you have to think the fight's gonna be over. So a good, a good way to pick up the card. Oh, wow. Make sure y'all smash that like button. It's your boy BT, the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. Listen, man, we here live supporting that su 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 supporting the prospects, supporting the, right. the club the club shows. You know, That's you, it. you can't you can't you can't you, you, listen. This, this is where you earn your stripes here on YouTube. When you can go live and talk about these fights, but you don't know nothing about, that you don't know fuck all about. No. But this is why you earn your stripes on YouTube. And that's why I like about BT. BT doesn't allow a lot of prospects like that. Putting yeah. people on game. If, 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 if Chelsea Anderson gets a, a scores another knockdown, I'm oh, she's have, done. She might get a she might get a prospect review video out of me. Yeah, she's done. She man. might she I might mean, uh, right now right now the doctors are checking Alvina White to make sure she's uh fit to come out for the third round. Yeah. The referee makes her walk back to her corner and the third round progresses. So here we go. The third round wow. between Chelsea Anderson and Elvina White, and, and Elvina White, the first fight on the Roy Jones Jr. promotions card in conjunction with Tom Lawler's 360 promotions card in conjunction with uh, Mr. Right UFC right. Fight yeah. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want, wants to know the late Carol? <laughs> Carol Dyro. Yeah. You know? UFC Fight Pass. Hey, if you don't got it, hey, you're out of luck. You ain't got no damn leg. Yeah. Good right hand there by uh, Chelsea Anderson. You know, Chelsea. I like that. She don't. She don't stay close. She stays a distance when she shoots her punches. Which I like about yeah, that. You know, a lot of times she's a taller fighter, so you know, a lot of oh, good, good right hand. Damn. She's throwing that right hand with conviction. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, I, I, you watch these tall, taller fighters sometimes, and they don't box like taller fighters. But that's the one thing I like about Chelsea Anderson. She she's boxing yeah. like a taller fighter. She's she's stepping into that jab. She's, you don't ever really see her pawn with the jab. Jeez, All of her jabs are hard jabs. Stepping into the jab. Coming with the right hand. Doesn't seem she a lot of power punches, but they do. They they, they damage this uh white all over the place. Yeah, man. Shout out to Hyrule. He's finally here. The man up, Hyrule? He says the man of the hour, the last man standing to stream this wonderful card. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Hyrule. And so far, I don't know if you've caught the first two rounds, Hyrule, but it's been an amazing uh first two rounds from Chelsea Anderson and Alvina yeah. White. Alvina White scored two knockdowns. She's beating the shit out of Alvina White here in the third round. And shout out to Ray Joy Roy Joyce. Roy Jones who came out with this uh and Tom Lawford for this uh, fight. Who would have thought that the, the opening would be two females fighting? Nothing disrespectful, but I'm just saying, but this is an exciting fight, but yeah, another, another right hand from Chelsea Anderson. Chelsea Anderson throwing that that steak knife. And look, she threw a nice, a nice combination that she went she went straight right hand and they came up with yeah. the same hand yeah. for the uppercut. So you see like a good punch selection from uh, Chelsea Anderson. 
And, you know, she is starting to get hit a little bit. You know, credit to Alvina White. Alvina White staying on, staying in there. And she's trying to close that gap, but 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 Anderson's just whacking her with right hands and, and getting that respect. Yeah, and I so, think like Jesus. So we're through three rounds, and it's been a dominant three round performance from Chelsea Anderson. And uh, about to go four zero. About to go see what, what happens in the fourth. But yeah, make sure y'all smash that like button. We here. True school, drop your email. I have some stuff I, I to send to you. I want you to see my work. If not, I understand. No, no, for sure. Uh, let me see. Let me do it on my dad's phone. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it from my dad's phone. Definitely. Uh, why not? Because there's so many channels. And like, I'm, I'm like, I, I try to watch people's videos, but honestly, like, I'm in my, I'm in my own one half the time. Yeah, but if. If you come out here, you, you, like you do right now, I, I want to see. Want, you take the time to look at your videos. I definitely take the time. I, I, I do watch, watch people's content, especially channels I'm not um, as, as familiar with. But you see, it. what's his name? I might try to give him a follow. What's his name? Trick, trick. That's his trick. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Okay, when he sends it to me. Round four of Chelsea Anderson versus oh, Alvina wow. White. Let's see if Alvina White can turn the fight on its head, or if Chelsea Anderson can put the estimation point. Ooh. Good left hook there from Alvina White. And yeah. right here from Alvina White. And I think Chelsea Edison's hurt. Yeah. He's hurt. Oh. Oh, shit. So it was the Bull versus the Matador, and the Bull started to push the Matador back. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, and shout out to uh, White. White's coming out with this, this bomb and, and, and coming out with, with a bomb. She's trying to bomb away and make it even. But Chelsea's holding on to her own. Minute 19 left in uh, the fourth round. Both females in the uh, middle of the ring. Chelsea in the black and white in the white. And, and, and let me tell you, this is the best one I've seen of, 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 of a white. Beautiful double jab by white. And over right here by white to the bottom. And again, but chance Chelsea coming back and answering on every, every answer too. There it is, man. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where can we watch this fight? UFC Fight Pass. If you ask me, if you ask for the link, <laughs> I ain't got no damn link. Ask Cairo. Ask Cairo. Good, good right hand from uh, Chelsea Anderson. Yeah. Until then, hey, if you don't got no link, you can just listen to my commentary and yeah, yeah. And sorry, talk boxing with me. Ask Cairo. I mean, I just sent it. Fuck. Did it drop? No, it didn't, it didn't go Why through. Why does that? I don't understand that. I think last week you did, the same, I did the same shit, man. Hey, hey, oh, trick. My my email is uh my email is Nelson Taylor nine seven eight at gmail.com. I just dropped it, but it didn't go through for some reason. So last week we had the same problem. Man. So good round from uh, Alvina White to close out to close out the fight. I think that's probably the only round she won. Uh so I scored the fight three rounds to one for Chelsea Anderson. A really, 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 really Good uh, female scrap from um, yeah, she actually dominated the fight, Chelsea Anderson. But uh, you know, a good, good resiliency and good heart shown by uh, Alvina White. De definitely one of the better female fights you'll ever yeah, see. Yeah, oh, I was excited about this one. I see it, I, I thought it was gonna be dull and everything, but it, 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 it contradicted everything that he actually said, and it actually was a very exciting fight by the two females, absolutely, man. So, you know, we here, man, freaking Sergey Bochuk. Uh, what's his name? Sergey Bochuk and freaking oh, Rafael Ubogwe. <laughs> How do you get to pronounce his name? I have all doing that. The Nigerian. I remember Dan Mola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when, I'm, when, when I'm, I'm, Nigerian, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar <laughs> with the Nigerian names, you know. Yeah, the Nigerian. But, uh, but I wanted to put you on game, Pops, as to some of what, what Sergey Bochuk has done in the amateur ranks. Right. Uh, just name a couple of fighters he's defeated. So he beat Josh Kelly in the amateurs. He beat Josh Kelly? Yeah, he beat Josh Kelly in the amateurs, which is no small accomplishment. Right. He beat the most notable name that you probably know is Josh Kelly. Wow. But he was very good and and, and very highly touted. And listen, that, that that's what's so interesting about this car for me is like you had two guys, Bo Chuck and Ali Ahmed, who were who were on the fast track to to, to titles. Oh, yeah, yeah. They both took devastating knockout losses, who, 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 and who, who, now who, they find themselves on UFC Fight Pass, yeah, the who, bottom, the gutter. Who, who did uh, what, I cannot believe? What was the guy's name? Uh, oh, Kobe? Yeah, who did he lose to? I forgot the guy's name. Yeah, but he but he lost to the same fighter both times by a split decision. Damn. Jeez, oh. that's crazy. So here come here here comes the decision. The first decision on the car between 
Chelsea Anderson and Alvina White in what, in what was a very entertaining fight. Yeah, it was really good. If y'all got, if y'all got any questions, comments, concerns about boxing aside from this card, drop that down below as well. Man. We'll be here for like an hour or two. One of the buddy, one of brothers, buddy said that uh, AJ is gonna be the first knockout of Usyk. I don't think so. It's gonna more, it's gonna be more than five rounds. We... Shout out to my man Trick with the five dollar super chat. Thank you, Trick. He says I appreciate all all you do. Salute to you, fam. We appreciate you, man. Thank you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I wanna check you out, man. Hyrule, Hyrule, I'll drop to your channel. I suck it if you like to drop your channel. Hyrule dropped the, the, the email there, so just email, <laughs> email me there, and I uh, will definitely uh, Thank you, I'll check out your work. Thank you so much, Hyrule. <laughs> Going up. Thank you, so Chelsea Anderson improves to 4-0 in, in what was a really, really entertaining uh, fight. Probably one of the more entertaining fights you're going to see in women's boxing. Uh, so if you didn't see it, you missed one there. And what a story. Anderson, who, who really found boxing as a way to get sober. Yeah. You know, oh, shit. Age, in her teens, she was, you know, so, using alcohol and much harder drugs. So, apparently, that. Chelsea Anderson is the American version of Shannon Cordy because, same yeah. thing with Shannon Cordy in England, you know, she, she pretty much turned to boxing because she was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And she was drinking and drinking and drinking, suffering from alcoholism, and boxing has changed her life for the better. So, a beautiful story, a, a story that we've heard many times in boxing of someone that has definitely been caught up in, 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 in you know, we, see, we, we hear fighters caught up in gang life, street life, alcoholism, all kinds of stuff. And, 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 and she's turned her life around. And now, look at her now. She's she fighting on Roy Jones Jr. Boxing. She's on UFC Fight Pass. She's 4 0 now. All the best in her career. And I'll tell you this, man. She has one of the better straight right hands I've seen from her. I've seen fight. that. No, I will right hand. Steak night. And the old right is nasty, too. Uh, and, and I, it's going on with what you're saying, BT. I think it's great. Now, only in boxing do you actually see uh, the changing people's lives, what it does to people, and how it affects them, and how they can come from the bottom of the rut and come up to the top. And, and what Chelsea Anderson has done is, is very, very, very uh, commendable for everything she's done. And what I come from the drinking bottle, drinking the bottle, like I'm drinking my wine right here in my heart, and, uh, and, and actually turn her life around because of it. So, shout out to her. Shout out to her, man. And look, hey. Really entertaining fighter. I'll, I'll like to see her in the future, and I'll definitely be, on I'll, I'll be definitely looking out for her name in the future. See, see what she does in the future. I always like seeing fighters come through the ranks. Um, she, you know what? She, she's earned herself a prospect review video, so I'll, I'll have the Chelsea Anderson prospect review video coming out soon on True School Sports. Hi, Ro, what's good, champ? He says thanks, BT and Post for covering this, man. You really didn't have to. I hope you go live for the first ever Bridgeway title fight. Yes. Oh, you see that? Make sure you, uh, um, Jennings is who, who that I, guy? Did, I just did a video about this before I went live. I haven't dropped it yet, but um, yeah. save the date. October the 22nd, Brian Jennings takes on Oscar I Ross see that. In a rematch of their fight ahead of in the first ever WBC Bridgeway who title the, fight. Who the hell do they have right there in the big? I have to go look at that. I think Chandler right for team. Is he in the Bridgeway? Yeah. Oh, my God. Who they got number one? Oscar Ross. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's like 189, 200? No, no, no. Uh, Bridget Way, I believe, is like, I don't even remember. Hiro, someone told me. I, I don't even know, oh man. Oh, my God. What weight class is that? It's, 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 be it's between cruise weight and heavyweight. Yeah, I, I, I get that. So that sounds weird saying I'm a Bridget Way champion. <laughs> but you, for, for, between for, for, for the time being, the, 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 I know a lot of people are being negative about Bridget Way. By the way, shout out to everybody here. Yeah. A lot of people are being negative about the Bridgeway division, but yeah. I, I think one of the cool things about the Bridgeway division, for now, until like other things, right, 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 right. there's only one Bridgeway title. There's only one. So, yeah. so whoever, no, no whoever, belt. whoever is the Bridgeway champion is the champion. It's, like, it's, it's the, two, the real champion. It's going to be like the 1920s. Mm -hmm. We, as boxing fans, I know it's corny. We don't want to lose weight class, but you got to look at the positives too. You know, hey, these guys that have would have no chance to be champions at Bridgeway. Anyway, yeah. Are gonna have their chance to be champion at Bridgeway. That is so and crazy. Whoever's a champion is 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 true from the champion. There's wow. no there's no sanctioning body politics. There's none of that, man. Yeah. So. You know what I like today was when uh Ringback I think did to uh to Oscar Valdez. Uh they, they took him off their rankings. I like that, BT. Yeah, yeah. A couple of fighters got removed from the rankings today. Oscar Valdez. Oh, was, Oscar Valdez was, was, was removed from the rankings. Gary Russell was removed from the rankings. Cal Yafai was removed from the rankings. Is that because of that inactivity? Inactivity, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. So on that. Trick, Trick says, uh, Ibogwe better rep good because he's from Houston. Houston, and that's why I live. So that's he better right. show up and show up. Hey. Yeah, man. I, lo I love Houston. He loves Texas. He's always in Texas, I man. I love Houston. <laughs> I, I, I just visited Houston for yeah. the first time recently. So, 
you know, got mad love for Houston. But yeah. we, we turn our attention to the next fight on the card. This guy got to stress it, the dog. The dog. The dog. T-H-A-D-A-W-G. The dog. Who the fuck is the dog? Who's this guy? Did I say that Adrian Corona was in round favor? Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's got some fans in the house. Adrian Corona versus, um, I think, Robles. I, this fight, I, I was actually listening to uh, yeah, another video about this fight before. And um, both these guys are, like, extremely high punches. Oh, yeah? Like, in all, all, like I, I, I know one of these guys has seven wins. And only one of his wins is a knockout, and the other guy has like five wins and like two wins are a knockout. Oh my Something God. like that. So, for their style, if you're, you free style? I don't know how they fight. I'm yeah. just telling you what I've seen. They look big, they look like they're tough, though. They probably are tough. You can't go by, you can't go by knockouts yeah. all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, like sometimes. This like, guy looks big, too. Look at him. We're going to see, man. Look, look. I, I, I've heard a lot of people talking this fight up on the card. Adrian Corona versus uh the Robles kid. Oh, wow. So we're, we're gonna see. We're, we're gonna see what it, what it's all about. But yeah, it's your boy BC. Super featherweight. So 130, 130 pound prospects. Oh, so, Daniel Robles versus Adrian Corona. That's that's our next fight. Two two young, hungry, 130 pound prospects. You know, make of that what you will. Both these guys, both, both, I don't know, man. Yeah. You can't always judge fighters by the records, but I'll tell you this: if, if we go on our facial expressions, see, look, seven and one KO. Yeah. If we go on our facial expressions and then demeanor, I feel like this is gonna be a dog fight. Yeah, you can uh, tell the way they come in, nobody. The, the other guy had a chance at the dog. The dog, dog in here. And this guy looking at him like it's like two pimples. You don't know, you know? Wow. Two pimples at him. I saw Adam Lopez in this corner. Did you? I looks like Adam Lopez in this corner. Be long. Uh, yeah, Hyro like says, uh, that's his name, Adrian oh. Corona. Uh, Hyro says, believe it or not, Evgeny Roman is the first Arab person to fight in a sanctioned bridgeway fight. Yeah, shout out, uh, yeah. Hyro, Hyro, he, he's talking about his favorite division, the bridgeway division. That's what we like now? That's fair division. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about it, Hyro? Your favorite PBC fighters? Well, it's interesting, Adrian Corona. Adrian Corona is 21 and he only has one knockout in the seven wins. So, you know, he's a kid. Robles is 29. He's a man. So, yeah. wow. this might be a repeat of what we saw in the Gabriel Flores versus the yeah, um, Robles fight. So, here we go with the six rounder. Make sure you guys smash that like button. It's your boy BTV Untouchable. True School Sports Empire. we here, man. So, here we go. Here goes uh, Adrian Corona getting on that jab. In the black and gold trunks, Corona. Trying to trying to improve the record of seven or eight eight, eight no rules in the blue and white trunks. Mm -hmm. Good defense. The dog there. you call him the dog. dog. You can't just call your dog if you don't tear up people. We go we, we gonna see. Yeah. He, he only got six rounds to show his dog, so he better not waste no time. Yeah. Hey, a good right hand there from uh, Daniel Robles. Yeah. Daniel Robles trying to close that gap. Is that the son's manager? The, the manager that trains? Ooh. Is it? Is it a trainer called Robles or something like that? Daniel Robles? Robles? Yeah. Probably son. I don't know. I don't think so. Could be. Ooh, oh, nice good left hook from Adrian Corona. And then I counter right hand out the rope. Adrian Corona, see, you can't always judge fighters out the knockout yeah. ratio. You see, he ain't got the skills. Look yeah. at that. Ooh, Ooh straight yeah. right hand yeah. left hook from Adrian Corona. He ain't playing. The owner ain't playing. It's how, how ironic that uh, uh -huh. Corona's fighting a Mexican independence. A guy named Corona is fighting a Mexican independence. No shit, right? Well, I think you don't got Modelo. We should have Corona versus Adela. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Good right hand there from uh, Robles. Both of them are very patient fighters, though. They're not really rushing anything. Another like good that. jab from Corona. I like, I like how Corona's coming out so far. We'll see. We'll definitely see um, Robles. how Robles. Corona can, can continue to start so far. But I'll tell you, it's been a very bright, very positive start for Adrian Corona. I really like the – as, as, as me not knowing anything about him, and this be my first impression, I love – how he's handling the pressure of uh, Daniel Robles and, and, and the counter punching and, and the movement, and he's throwing different types of jabs. That's why he's moving around, he's got face stationary. And you and you see it already, you know. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Robles already has some swelling above his right eye. Yeah. So you can see that jab. Ooh, Look, that there you go. A good uppercut there from um, Corona. from Corona. And Robles takes that saying no, and he marches forward. 
And it looks like he has no attack press oh, powers. Oh, oh, oh you oh, like oh, oh, Jesus. And Robles is is legs Oh, oh shut out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo. Get out, dog. You ain't no dog. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. You ain't no dog. <laughs> wow. Uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Daniel Robles got put on his ass by Adrian Corona. Wow, he threw what? Over right? They threw, uh, he threw a left hook and Jesus then a straight right. right and then a straight right again. And so quick. 30 seconds left here, round number one, of what's been a really good fight. And Robles oh, no. has no yeah. defense, and Corona's just tagging him, tattooing him. A left hook. Again, you got him again. A straight oh. right. And what a beautiful. Oh, oh no, right shit. Hand. Oh, left right hand. Left hook right oh, hand. Oh, oh, who's the dog? He knocked him down again. And that's it. That's it. Oh, wow. He's a good dog. Adrian Corona. Wow. Adrian Corona is not known for being a puncher. He only had one knockout. Wow. He only had one knockout in seven fights coming into this fight. But make it two knockouts, damn it. Who, make it two knockouts. Who, who should have that shirt on the dog? Who's, who's the real dog? Adrian Corona out, wow. he out dogs the dog. And, uh, oh, hands down. Beautiful. So this is kind of like the opposite of what we saw Gabriel Floyd and Lopez. Yeah, yeah. He's young. He's 21 years old. Yeah. Fighting a 29 year old. So the kid yeah. beats up the grown man. Wow. And, uh, and let's get it right. Uh, BT, I would be like my son. When my son notices his talent, from afar, and it's, I mean, he's not going crazy about it, but when he knows somebody that he likes, he'll call it out right off the bat. And you really, from the start, you've been calling out Corona. Oh, like his demeanor? Yeah, uh, everything. He look, I mean, he the range, what he did and everything. Demeanor. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, he, I don't, one, one thing I can tell you is, look, he's not one to waste time. He saw openings. Yeah. He took advantage of them. Yeah. And look, if you, this is why you can't just look at the paper. Right. If you look at the paper, you, you can't say, this yeah. is what the fuck is fisting. I'm not going to watch him fight, but look, Jeez. look, the count, look, counter Ooh. punching. Punch right. placement, understanding yeah. a distance, you know, really good performance. Yeah, I understand when it's time to put the guy out, finish him off. Man, I think, I think, I think. Look Adrian, at that, Jesus. I think Adrian Corona just earned himself a profit review video. Yeah. Oh, oh look at those Jesus. The combinations. He, bro, he had this dude's eyes. Did you see his like, eyes? Yeah. His eyes, like, yo, rolled on the back of his I'm head. I'm telling you right now, Rules, Rules, don't wear another shirt that says a dog on it. Yeah, he, so, he, 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 he got, got dogs out. Robles can't. <laughs> He can't be the, the dog no more. No, he can't be a pit bull. He, he, he act like it. He look like he ready to go ten more rounds. Adrian Corona. Yeah, he got the eyes. The eyes of the he tiger. Like, he look like he wants to smoke. Yeah. Wow. Hey, not not for nothing. He look like one of the. Yo, best. man, thanks. Shout out to uh, uh Power right. for this uh, game on this on, on this fight fight. Excited so far. BT, thanks for hooking me up as well. I was looking forward to Ak and Brock and and uh, no, it was Ad, Adi and Bellyu. Wow. So they have Adrian Corona improves to eight and zero with two knockouts yeah. in a very very devastating. You devastating. say that you can't always First go by the knockout. Knockout. You say you can't always go by that. You have to go see what they're. They might be wow. You gotta see what they're about. You gotta see like you beat the fuck out of this guy. It's like Bernard Hopkins. And he was gonna be the hype job, right? He was a guy. That, I know that guy was favorite. But look, yeah. It's like Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins was, was one of my favorite fighters, and he yeah. said, and somebody I forgot who was. I think John Pascal. John Pascal was saying that Bernard has no power, right? right, right. And Bernard said, so what? Uh, when you fight me, I beat you up. Yeah, when, yeah. when you fight me, you know you got into a fight. It, it, this is what happened here. This is exactly what happened. So sometimes you, hey. can, you can get these guys with, with, with no knockouts in the rest I of the I think you can say Corona for Mexican is all right. Yeah. Viva Mexico, man. Viva yeah. Mexico. Viva Mexico con Corona. Yeah, so hey. Wow. Hey, I like this. I like this process right here. I like what I, I like see, him, man. I'm going to do a video about him. Yeah. I'm not allowed to be popular. I think this is the most enjoyable car we've watched in a long time. And a car that we know nothing about. Like, that's how it always Thanks is. You, that's how it always is in boxing. These big fights, these big cars they have up are always yeah. like. How many times we sat down sometimes? They hit or miss. But the cars, we don't know nothing about these fighters, but they're getting paid. Yeah. But he probably, I bet you, he probably made like a, a thousand pounds for this fight. He probably made shit for this fight. Jeez. And because these fighters are so hungry and, and they're, they're eager to get to the top and make yeah. an impression, like, because these, these guys understand, like, First of all, he's not fighting in front of a big audience, and the audience that he is fighting in front yeah. of, like, like us, this right. is our first time seeing him. Cause yeah, I never heard of Adrian Crown Corona. No, you know, I'm not. I'm not on the West Coast. No, no, no. Hell no. Nah. But what I'm saying is, we watch a lot of fights like that, but we enjoy the prospects of all no or names that we never heard of. And they're trying to be better fights and exciting more fights than, than what you actually see. Well, well matched fights, so you, know, you got to shout out to you gotta, think, shout out to my guy Tom Lockler and the fine folks at yeah. three three sixty promotions. GG still is, is one of the top fighter, right? Yeah. Look at that right there. Look at that fine ass girl, boy. And the white Jesus. God bless her. Fire the mom. 
Shout out to Hyrule says, thanks for the zone, BT. I'm going to hook you up with Showtime specifically. I'm going to hook up Papa Stars to watch Power. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, this, there's a scene in Power. What, Power. Is, what is it? Is that? Oh, so I got Stars. What was it? Movie? Power, Power is no, it's, it's a show of 50 Cent, and there's a, there's a part where 50 Cent shoots his son, and he said, this is Pops, but he disowns you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my fucking son. Oh, hell. We, I ain't going to disown my son. So we so, good. So, so the next fight in the car, I'm actually very intrigued about this one, because now we finally have fire, a fighter that I know a little bit about. Okay. And that's Adrian Taylor. Now, I don't know. I got name. I don't know, any, I, I don't know a ton about Adrian Taylor, but what I do know about Adrian Taylor, he's one of those fighters coming out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, oh, wow. He's an Earl Spence sparring partner. Um, Cruiserweight, I believe. You know, so hey, I, I, oh, wow. I haven't really seen him fight. I've been hearing about him for years. So this is my first. Oh, you out there in, uh, in Dallas? You heard a lot about no, him? No, no, no. I heard about him years ago. What, before that? Way before. Oh, wow. Years ago. I, I just heard his name. Your name. So sometimes you talk to fighters. Yeah. Um, there's another fighter from Texas that I know named Mark Christopher Atkins. For those of you who are really, who are really, really oh, up there about yeah, yeah. Mark Christopher Atkins, um, he was the first guy to beat Shane Mosley Jr. He fought uh, Jason Quigley in like Jason Quigley's like fourth or fifth professional fight. No shit. And um, Marcus for Atkins that told me about him. So and, and, and Marcus for Atkins, he was one of the first like subscribers to this channel, and he was one that was telling me when I was coming to the NBA and I thought, yeah, no, 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 man, for real. Shout out to Marcus Shout out to Marcus. Yeah. Awesome. But we out. And, and the crazy thing about these cards is this shit moving quickly. Yeah. Got, like the Adrian Corona fight just ended. And they're already doing the... Female, the age right now, this one. They're already doing the, 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 uh, the freaking entrances. So if you're here, make sure y'all smash that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys talk think about, about the main event. Training, whatever you want to talk about. Let us know where you're watching from, what city, what state, what continent, and I will give you a shout out. Oh, the he's wearing, Brandon. Oh, she coming with. Oh, Adrian Taylor, he coming in with that chinchilla. <laughs> what you what, what you say? Oh that? man, you better you better knock him out. You can't you can't come. No no no. But, but he, he took it to the next level. He got chinchilla on the side of his trunks. He ain't playing. And then he got chinchilla for the hoodie. Oh hell, so he got Taylor. Got, you know so I mean? if you got if you got chinchilla if you got chinchilla on the on the trunks and the hoodie, oh man. You got to Oh my god. He was big too though. Yeah, so we 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 gonna see what Adrian Taylor's all about. And, th and there's the uh You better you better carry our name the problem and do something. There's uh there's Jack Reese, the, the legendary referee. Oh wow From Armenia, here it is Rafa Simoya <laughs> Shout out to one that one triple S he says, How's the minivan? Listen man, <laughs> today was the first time I got it running, I put it all together, it's running. I gotta just get the fans working because the part that I got ain't not, doesn't exist in my car. Yeah. But it's one. If we went for a trip with BT, we're out here, out here in Law Land, La Land. And, and BT said, Dad, we need to ride this bus. Well, it's doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. I'm, I'm just praying, you know, next week that uh, we're all gonna get right. We get it. We get it. We get it, we get it right by next Wednesday because I. Especially that I get the we're, fans, we're the fans money, the fans. Behind the radiator, I gotta get it. We're going to the Marlins game next Wednesday, so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm praying to God, you know, he, he, he get it. We're gonna get it. Tomorrow I'm gonna change the sentence and we good. Anyway, we turn our attention to the main event. Um, Adrian Taylor's opponent, whose name I don't remember right now, he's 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 trained by Abel Sanchez, so we, we already know this one. Oh, no, yeah, but what, how do you say? What do you say about Abel Sanchez? How he trains? We, we already know how he's gonna fight. Yeah, we already know. Yeah, if, if you see a, if you see a, no, it's not a bad thing. No, 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 not good, but I'm just saying. Well, we know Abel Sanchez fighters for the most part are, are strong fighters, the come forward fighters, the pressure fighters. Um, I'm not too good at Adrian Taylor, but you know, I, I, if he's an Earl Spence sparring partner, I can only imagine yeah. he's a guy that likes to come forward too. Right. So this could be fight of the night. It could be a war. It could be a war. From Texas, to Dallas, Texas. Dallas, where? Are... This all in Texas? No, this is Texas. Oh, wow, eleven and one, four and zero. Oh. Okay. And you know, I consider Dallas my second favorite home, so I'm I'm, I'm yeah. going for the Dallas Fighters, man. Shout out to Adrian Taylor. And the close ring stands in the corner by the other red corner. He wears white trunks and weighs in 198 and one half pounds. And 10 professional fights is trending by the Oh, he's not bad either, bro. So this guy's 9 and 1, 8 knockouts. So Raphael, who you got, brother? Raphael Simonia. Yeah, yeah. I got the name Taylor. I know a little bit more about Adrian Taylor. I don't got no predictions. I'm, I'm just gonna watch the fight yeah. and see what I can do. Follow videos. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing prostate videos. Well, so I'm able to test on your side. Must be good though, brother. Come on. Now. 
We already know whatever Abel sends is a fighter, it's going to be a fighter that's not from America, who fights close for who's strong, who's strong. I just said what you said, not from America. He never comes to America. He never got an American fighter. <laughs> Uh, one SSS wants to know what what I think about the, the WBA four man tournament. I, I forgot who was in it. I know it's Ugas. Tell me who was in it. I'll let you know. It was Ugas. Somebody else. It was, it was, I saw. I saw it. But uh, remind me who was in it because I can't remember right now. Round number one of eight: Adrian Taylor versus Raphael. So yeah, you see Adrian Taylor, big boy, wide shoulders. Yeah. Well, Raphael's fought with a uh, Badu Jack. Uh, a lot of uh, fighters, so the more experience is from his side. There you go. There you go. Good jab by uh, Raphael. Taylor's very patient, though. Look at that. He's throwing that jab out there. If I'm not mistaken, I think he trained at Derek. Oh, they're right hand from Taylor. Taylor. I think he was at uh, what's it called? He was at uh, Derek James's gym. So Spence oh, wow. again, working with Spence, the Charlo. Oh, Taylor or Rafa? No, Taylor. Good left hook from Taylor. There you go, Adrian Taylor. You know, mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas. What, what, what did Marie Soka say? Dallas, we her. Yeah, <laughs> we here. There you go, another good right hand from Adrian Taylor. And right now, you can already see there's a clear cut advantage in the speed department for Adrian Taylor over his opponent. Yeah. Even though on paper, you know. Raphael uh, Simonian, you know, eight knockouts in ten fights. You can't know, no, yeah. He's putting the pressure on Taylor, but Taylor's, coming, Taylor's the one doing all the damage, I think. No, the fight's not over right now, man. Right now we're, we're in the middle of the card. Um, shout out to you from Brazil. Shout out to Brazil, Caseo. This is this, this is the third fight on the card, so you know you, you made it just in time. Uh, welcome to the channel. You know. Shout out to Robinson Consensia, one of the best yeah, fighters man. out there. He got robbed, man. I had, I had him winning. I had a Brazilian winning for Brazil. Go. Good left hook to the body there from Raphael uh, Simonian. There you go. Good defense in the pocket there by Taylor. As the comment says, it's interesting. Trunks by that Taylor. What you say? What they want to do something? I mean, he's fighting a good fight so far. I like the inside game. He got to do like inside game. What do you think, Taylor? Most Texas fighters do. Do they? Texas fighters, most Texas. You watch most Texas fighters. The punches are very wow. straightforward, down the middle. Yeah. You don't really see too many Texas fighters that 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 throw wide punches. They're very fundamentally sound. No nonsense. No, wow. no not not really too flashy. But they get the job done. They breaking get, them down. They get that job done. done. Tell you this man, the hardest part of I ever had was in Texas. No <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't in Florida, was in Texas. Look at that inside game. He's got. I mean, look at the Ralph is fighting back, but I don't. Oh, good left hook for Adrian Taylor. I got Taylor. Taylor, Taylor man, Taylor. Taylor's inside game is good, but he started to get tagged a little bit. Simonia started to have some success with the left hook and the overhand right. So, yeah, man. Yeah, we're here. For some reason, for I don't know what it is, but for some reason we got we got some Brazilians in here. He but says. I see yeah, Caseo, where Shout out to Lucas in Brazil. Shout out, shout out to uh, Brazil. Two schools, four, check that flight button. If they finish this fight in the first or second round, I get $300. This, <laughs> like your boy. What production is uh, better? This car, uh, Trevor Bryan versus Remains to Burn. Oh, definitely this. <laughs> yeah, that Trevor Bryan and Remains to Burn car was, was rough. Don, Don King is back. Mm -hmm. And then they try, they try to tell us about how great it is. He was supposed to come back. He was on Instagram for a couple weeks ago saying he was supposed to have an announcement or something. Hopefully. So I'm talking about Terry Bryan. Terry, Terry Bryan. We'll see, man. We go we go to the second fight of our Cruiserweight Attraction. Third fight. Fight. Our third fight. Our, uh, that's the second round in our third fight in our Cruiserweight Attraction between Adrian Taylor of Dallas, Texas versus Raphael Simonian from Armenia. And here comes Simonian. He's just barreling forward. Like mo like like you would expect a fighter from the Abel Sanchez gym to do, barrel four. Yeah. How many times do we say that? He's gonna be strong, he's gonna be strong, he's gonna not be from America, and he <laughs> and he's gonna come forward. I think Gigi should never have left him though. Just stay with Abel. Oh, it's not Adrian Taylor. He got that jab down there, still throwing that little up jab now. Yeah. Oh nice good right hand by yeah. Adrian Taylor. Some 
So Moyni got to got to stay away from the outside. You know, that, that's Taylor's fight right there. But the great thing is, you know, even when he's trying to smother Taylor, Taylor's had answers from the inside as well. So Adrian oh, Taylor, yeah. By a, a good uh, fight so far, a good defense there by Simone in the high guard. Yeah, Simone could come up forward for Richard to fight the whole game, the whole time, but nothing's really going to me. I think it's just a patient fight waiting for, the, waiting for this guy to tire out. I don't think Taylor's going to tire out, though. I love the inside fight. Texas fighters don't tire out. I'll tell you that right now. Well, if he came from Spence Gym, I heard how crazy Spence trained. He fights all the, all the heavyweights, uh, cruiserweights. And middleweights, middle middleweights, 15 one, rounds, 18 one, rounds one after time. another. So uh, the training that they get from that gym is crazy. So you know his endurance is great. Yeah, oh, oh, right hook, left hook. Man, Adrian Taylor is just fighting a beautiful fight right now on the inside. Good right hand from Simonia. Yeah. Simonia is throwing the answer back. Yeah. I'll tell you this, man. I think Taylor is landing more punches. But what, what the, the handful of times Simonia has landed, they move Taylor back. Yeah. So if Simone could just continue to land these punches. I think you just be patient, like I was telling you. As the rounds goes on, he's going to get better. Yeah, make sure y'all smash that like button if you're just tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate everybody that's here. Yeah. Tell us what state, what country, where you're from. I mean, we got Brazil. We give a shout out. Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Brazil. The women are beautiful, too. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's a nice right hand that Oh, good right hand from Taylor again. Shout out to my, my Brandon Smith. He said, I really want to see Ugas win the whole thing. Yeah, can someone tell me who's in the um in, tournament? in that tournament? I know it's Ugas. Ugas. I haven't read about yeah, it was just announced. It's oh. Ugas, somebody else, and then Jamal James was somebody else. But I can't remember who I can't remember who the hell the other two fighters right now. I didn't really like read the article. I just I saw it, I skimmed past yeah. it. And that was it. What's supposed to happen? I don't, I don't even read it. I just, I, I just saw the headline. There you go. Adrian Taylor, that, Adrian Taylor has that right hand working. Oh, okay. What's going on? What? Oh, that, that, that. The mouthpiece. mouthpiece. Oh, the old, the old, the old oh, mouthpiece trick. So Adrian Taylor spit out his mouthpiece. So maybe could that be the pressure of Samoyan getting to him? We'll see. I think I think Samoyan saw to close that gap on Taylor yeah. a little bit. Yeah, just say, he's a very patient fighter. I think I think, I think Taylor's won the first two rounds, but for some reason I feel like I feel like, I feel like Samoyan saw to to, to 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 close that gap a little bit. The tie's turning. He landed some good shots here wow. in round two. I mean Taylor did. Tail him oh, oh, nice avocado and a right fight. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Howard told me who's in the tournament. It's uh, Jamal James versus uh, Boutiev, and uh, Ugas is fighting uh, the guy that fought Colazzo, the big, strong. Um, yeah, yeah. I forgot what country he's from, but the, the guy that just fought Colazzo, the, the but, strong uh, guy. That's a, that's a good tournament. Um, I think Ugas is going to have a, a, a tough fight against Dionis because. Stionis is strong and sturdy, um, so I think that, that'll be a test of Ugas' uh, punching power and his ability to box and move, and he's going to have to get Stionis' respect, because, and, and his conditioning's going to have to be on point, because if it's not, he'll get broken down, but well, that's a good fight. Um, Jamal Moutiev, I'm not the most familiar with, but I know Jamal James is one of the top 15 guys out there, so, you know, I, I'm thinking it's going to be Jamal James versus either, yeah, probably, I would say Jamal James versus Ugas is, is, is a good bet. And what they want? Who knows? Well, uh, Ugas is a champion, so. Right, but that's is that Tom gets the tournament? Yeah, he's a champion. Oh. So if he loses his title the first fight, he's not champion no more. Are you serious? Yeah, he's not champion no more. And the winner will fight the other one. But if he dominates the whole tournament, he's, he's still a champion. champion. Okay. Oh, wow. Paul Rice, 23, my best friend. In What's up, Paul? What's going on, man? In the entire world, what's good, champ? The best friend in hip hop. You all better go follow Paul Rice, 23. Right now we're around three of uh, Adrian Taylor versus. Who's going to again? Which one? Uh, uh, Rafa, Sarai, and Taylor. What's the last name? Rafa, I can't say his last name. I mean, the right in the back was wrong. Yeah? Yeah, I see it. Sarai and Taylor. There you go. Good left hook by Taylor. Taylor, yeah. Yeah. Raphael Simone. I think the guy is starting too, man. I know a lot. The guy is starting. 
Taylor. I love this fight. This fight's all the inside game. I like that. You know, a lot of times in boxing, you don't really see guys that like to, that like to go inside. A lot of times, man. Cervania was starting to really piece him up. Yeah, you, you said it's going to happen. Oh, man. Taylor's oh, in trouble. Come on, Taylor's in trouble. Oh. Oh, no. Yo, Adrian Taylor's getting his ass whooped right now. Yeah. He's blocking some shots, but the shots that are landing are stopping his head back. Wow. This one, I got to get you some money. And he spit out his mouthpiece oh, again. Yes. Okay, it's, not, it's not looking so good for Taylor. That's two times he's spinning on his mouthpiece. You get a warning? Yeah, Simone is pushing that pace on him. It looks like the punches that Adrian Taylor aren't having an effect on Simone. Not no more. You know, and look, beating an April Sanchez fighter is it's not hard. It's not hard to figure out, but it's it is hard to execute. Yeah, you look crazy. Be in good condition and get the respect. Wow. Because you know they're not they're not gonna be from America. They're gonna explode. Yep. And they're gonna really uh, have heavy hands, like you know, you guys like the last one. You do not follow right right there. Simone, you didn't have a Simone. Let me tell you, uh, it looks like Adrian Taylor's work's getting smothered now. Yeah, I mean, he's not able to I turn think, his punches around. No, I think what's happening is uh, all of the battles inside. I think Simone is oh, it's having an effect. Not all right by Simone. Hopefully, Ugas wins the whole tournament so he can go to the Hall of Fame. We'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah. Bring back the Shaq soda. Yeah, man. I need some Shaq soda. What? <laughs> what was it? DT, you should run into Ugas in Miami. Now, nah, he, he, trust me, he's he not going to be anywhere I'm at in Miami. I'll tell you that right we're now. We're on the opposite side of the world. We're not even in Miami. Mm. Oh! Big overhand right from Simonian. Oh, my God. Adrian Taylor has been taken to some deep, dark, uncomfortable places. And uh, Simone had to clear out for him, and I think yeah, the, momentum yeah. has, the momentum has Switch. firmly swung in his favor. Yeah. So, yeah, man, make it that what you will. So we've got a good cruiserweight matchup. We're halfway through it. Adrian Taylor got to a bright start. Well, it's been a good card so far. It's one of the best cards I've ever watched. Wow. For the whole year. So far, like, I can't. I don't know. You watch this all the time? It's always like this? If, if every this, if every yeah. if every fight on this card continues to stay at this level, this is the card of the year. Wow! It has not one been one bad fight. Oh, no, you know how hard it is to put a woman's fight on the court and not have a bad fight. Oh shit! Like, I know. And they started off the day. They started off the party. They did pretty good. The only right clip the hell out of him. Pyro must watch a lot of these. Nah. No, it doesn't. Oh. Right here, right here. Yes. Paul says, "I wish they brought back the sack, Shaq, the Shaq sodas." <laughs> We might, we might have to go to eBay and see if see if anybody any any anybody has a, the Shaq sodas. We need the Shaq sodas back. We need, we, we need those Miguel Cabrera candies back. Yeah, candies. Yeah, candy. Yeah, not anymore. But they're, 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 where have I been at? You can ask Paul. Are you serious? So like, it was some of the best candy too. If not in Florida though. Yeah, I was in Florida. I bought them in Virginia at Seven Eleven. Are you serious? Yeah. But uh, apparently oh the candy doesn't exist anymore because his business partners fucked over on some money. Yeah, so then they got it, it, it doesn't exist no more. Wow. But I kid you not, you can ask Paul. I'm sure Paul comments on it. It was literally one of the best candies the of all time. The first candy I had was uh, I think it was Reggie Jackson had a uh, Krispies. Uh, I forgot what it was. Krispies Krispie chocolate back in the day. Yeah. New York anyway, game. round four of uh, Raphael Samania versus Adrian Taylor. Adrian Taylor. You know, he's trying to keep Samaya off of him, but it, it has it has it's been to no avail. And now Samaya's coming with that that Phil Fraser, yeah. George Foreman, the cross on defense, yeah. picking them shots off. Fuck. And now Taylor can't even land. Taylor looks tired. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, look at those hard points. Those hard points. Every time, every time Samaya closes that gap, all right. Every time Samaya closes that gap, Taylor's just time up immediately. It's immediately happening. That's no, happened after the second round. He's been Look, Paul, Paul, Paul says they were good, pops. They were. Me and Paul. Mm. Me and Paul. We used to buy. What was it like? Uh, sweet candy, like, chocolates. Like, oh, chocolates. Oh, wow. I don't know. The, I'm, 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 the last one I was over here, and maybe it's the Ricky. Oh, Jackson. good, good counter left hook. Yeah. Adrian Jackson Taylor. Was the last one I had. Must be uh, chocolate caramel. Kind of, uh, Speaking of all the food, Sunday, Sunday. The, the, the pops, yeah, the pops been, cooking, uh, yeah. special, you know, true school sports. We're we'll also going live for the PBC yeah. card, so make sure you guys tune in for that. Yo, Taylor looks tired. Adrian Taylor looks like he's confused. Oh, oh. good counter right hand from Taylor. Yeah. So Adrian Taylor started to employ a, a good counter punching yeah. style right now. Back too, good jab, good jab from Taylor. 
in a great fight, though. I ain't gonna lie. Samoyo don't throw, uh, Samoyo don't throw no jabs. He literally walks out to you with a high guard. <laughs> he don't know what a jab is. He throw, he, 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 he walk, he walk right up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I hate that. I, 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 I actually like fighters actually establish themselves with the jab. To be honest, I, I will say that the budget for this card is probably Junta Nakatai to tie a purse. purse. <laughs> Yo, that's your fighter, man. He, he actually, I, he, I, I, I like him a lot, man. Junta Nakatani, shout out to him. There you go. Good body shot from Taylor. That's where we gotta go. Two body shots from Taylor. There you go. Taylor, Taylor's trying to go to that body. And some some uh Simone can't Simone's not like, like like he's 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 in the pocket and he's and he's leaning yeah. right yeah. on him. But he's, but he's not money. letting yeah. his hands go this round. So it's been a, a weird round for him. Good defense there from Taylor. And um yeah, man, a good a, a really good way to respond from Taylor. I got I've got uh Adrian Taylor up three rounds to one. So yeah. Taylor's tired though, I ain't gonna lie. Oh listen, listen to this then. Paul says that uh, the Shaq sodas are going from 30, 30 to a thousand dollars for a can. Oh my God, yeah, man. I need to stop buying. That's stuff crazy because me, me and Paul, we used to get them all the time. We, I need to stop buying stuff and collecting. Man. That's what we need to do. Bro. I'm gonna stop buying stuff, stuff and put it on the side, and collect. Hey, oh, hey, Pop, you know Rick Ross? Yeah, yeah. You know he just got a driver's license. Huh? <laughs> Rick Ross just got a driver's license at 46 years old. He probably just said, fuck the damn thing. I don't need no driver. I shot my several rounds. Are you serious? Yeah. So, so I guess you're going to tell me the message. <laughs> when you're ready, you do it. You got over 100 cars. You got a license now. Really a nice guy and a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, we 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 we, 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 had, we, had, we had on over to uh, round number five, Adrian Taylor and uh, Raphael Simonia. You know what kind of names Brad Carvey got? Yeah. You can't tell Taylor, me never drove all Taylor of them. Taylor started to have a lot of success counter punching. Simonia got to make some sort of adjustment. You got yeah. you got to make some just all this fee five full form. I'm going to come in a high guard and, 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 and not throw no punches. That's not going to work. You got you got to do something different to get Adrian Taylor, cause listen, man. There you go. Good luck fucking the inside by Adrian Taylor. So me 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 and Doug have the same score. Yeah. Play. Good luck fuck by uh, Adrian Taylor again. I mean, you still got two more rounds to go after this. Three, three, yeah, three rounds to go. Work. It's an eight rounder. We're in the fifth round right now. There you go, another uppercut from Adrian Taylor. Now Adrian Taylor is starting to push back Simonia a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Adrian Taylor can put some beautiful combinations together. Yeah. Jab, straight right, uppercut. It's been an inside fight. Uh, all night has been an inside game. Absolutely. Double left hook to the, to, to the liver and then a left hook on top. Adrian Taylor. Adrian Taylor handed out the rib dinners right like now. Them straight rib dinners. And that's, to me, that's the difference in the fight. I mean, Sam, I'm only trying to answer, but still. Yeah. CW, uh, CW1983 is a quote. He's quoting, uh, a, oh, shit. Big left foot from Taylor. He's quoting, uh, he's quoting a quote from uh, our last live about you cooking. He said, uh, the best comment from the last live was, Pops looks like he's thinking about what fight he's going to put, he's going to put on, on the food on Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I already got it. Tell me something, something simple but nice, and I'll show it to you guys. I'm gonna pop my wife's going shopping tomorrow, so I gotta give her a listen when we get done. Yeah, shout, shout out to CW. Hey, CW going cooking in your life. All right, 49 seconds left here, round number five. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Good job, yeah, yeah both both, both fighters do, do a lot of hugging and holding right now. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot of action going on here at this point around five. Oh, oh, oh shit! Beautiful. beautiful. Two counter left hooks from Adrian Taylor. I Yo, he got, he got a hard chin. Oh, oh, another left hook from Taylor. Oh, my God. Multiple left hooks from Adrian Taylor snapping the head back of Raphael Simonian. He's still there. 
So there you have it, man. I, I listen, to me, another clear Adrian Taylor round. So I got I got Adrian Taylor four rounds to one. Yeah. Samoya's in the fight. He's in the round. He's not doing enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, someone that wanted to know where can I watch this fight for free at? Shit, shit. I don't know. You know, people, 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 keep, ask, people keep asking for links. Like I said before, I ain't got no damn link. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get that UFC fight pass, champ. You know, we can just talk boxing and talk and, and talk, talk to you guys. Yeah, about I apologize that we can't give. We don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize. I've been telling y'all yeah. the feelings. Yeah. You know? Crack streams and Vip and Vip they gotta apologize. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's how you know this fight's like extremely quick. If Crack streams and Vip League and all these stream websites can't even get a link, uh, a stream for, the, for this fight, wow. that's how you know it's different. I have uh, the power of what I'm getting with this one. So, yeah. Uh, Miracle! Stop fucking me up in my heart. All right, so round number six, Adrian Taylor versus Raphael Simonia. My heart bullshit. There you go. Good right hand by uh, Adrian Taylor. Uh, the, the, the yoga thing. Okay. All right, so Adrian Taylor trying to continue to outfight the tough, rugged, and thorough Armenian Raphael Simonia. Been a good fight so far. Has it has lacked action, you know. And the thing is, Simonia, if he can find the right space and land that big shot, he could always hurt um, Adrian Taylor. So this fight, you know, been a really good one so far. But Adrian Taylor's been showing that, you know, he, he, he's been showing his different dimensions from the counter punching to the body shots to the inside fighting. And that's been the difference in the fight, the fact that he can fight any way, any, any way he wants. As to where Samoya, he only has one, one way of fighting, which is coming forward in the high guard and he's smothering his work. And his punches, the more this, the more these rounds go on, Samoya's punches are starting to get more loopy. Oh, good counter right hand by Adrian Taylor. Alex says, you're a real talk. It's my first time on this channel. Well, welcome, welcome to the channel, champ. I go live for all the fights. Uh, big and small, you know, uh, I'll be live for the Anthony Joshua fight, you know, and, and there are probably a lot more people here. I, there will be a lot more people here for that one. So feel free to join for that one. Subscribe. We've got all kinds of content. So well, welcome, man. You're in the home of boxing. Uh, one minute and 15 seconds left here in round six between Adrian Taylor and Raphael Simonian. Simonian's still trying to get his offense going. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor looks like he's taking this round off. Taylor, Taylor's activity is not as high this round, but I, I, I still think he's slightly winning this round because he's, he's, he's placing these shots and there's more punches from him landing than there are from Simonian. There you go. Good body shot there again from Taylor. Taylor. Showing a lot of composure in that pocket. Beating his freaking ass in the pocket right now. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you're new to the channel. Uh, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, super chat if you like what's going on. Uh, 22 seconds left in our Cruiserweight Attraction featuring, you know, two guys with one loss in their career. There you go, Taylor with these real subtle, sneaky body shots. And, you know, Simonia had Taylor Hurt earlier in this fight. And ever since he had Taylor Hurt, Taylor's adjusted beautifully, uh, counter-punching, you know, using different angles, using the different parts of his skill set to, to win these rounds and um, out point and even hurt um, Simonian. So, you know, just a really smart, intelligent fight from the, from the Dallas native, you know. What did Marie Sucker say? Marie Sucker said, Dallas, we ain't heard. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we hear any, any, anything you guys want to talk about in regards to the sport of boxing, let me know in the comments down below. You know, we here, man. Uh, program reminder will be live Saturday for the Ryle Valence Villa fight on PBC. Yes. Sunday will be live again for the other PBC card. I believe it's Malik Montgomery. He's fighting. Okay. And on for that card, we'll, we'll be live a little early. Pops will be cooking um, before, so it'll be the it'll be the Pops cooking extravaganza along with the yeah, Malik Montgomery it. PBC nice, nice uh, extravaganza. Huh? I'll make some nice for you guys. For you. They can see it. That's it, man. A couple things. Yeah, it's a little order. All right. So we had the round number seven. I got it. Uh, was it five, five rounds to one? 
in favor of Adrian Taylor. What is he, a knockout? I don't know. Brennan Smith wants to know, where the hell is GGG? I don't know, man. Probably somewhere in the mountains out there in Kazakhstan. Who knows, man? The, the, the middleweight division is in shambles. The entire middleweight division is in shambles. But anyway, focus back on this fight. Adrian Taylor and Raphael Samanya. That's a wrap. Yeah, ever since this, ever since uh that he got hurt in that early in the fight, uh that, that the money punch for Adrian Taylor has been has been that left hook. Oh, that left hook in Tyler though. Who? Like I say, he's knocked out the win. Oh shit! Now we see Taylor going to the cross arm defense. We yeah. saw Samoa earlier with the cross arm defense. Now Taylor's doing the cross arm defense. Samoa has no freaking game plan. He's literally just walking up to Adrian Taylor, right in the high guard, planting his feet, and then now throwing punches. Those scientists come up with the experience he's got. Got to come with a better plan. You know how they fight. You know how they fight, man. Yeah, you've been telling me this a year. Yeah, Samoya, I agree with James Smith. Um, Samoya is just throwing arm punches. He's getting, he's getting in between, he's getting right, right up on uh, yeah, yeah. Taylor, and he's throwing little arm punches. Nothing with extension, nothing with any sort of snap or explosion that's really going to hurt um, Adrian Taylor and get his attention. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, maybe the person to fight the whole time, he got. Oh, Taylor's tearing him up, man. man Taylor's Taylor beating the shit out of him more and more as this fight goes on. He's beating the hell out of him. I really enjoyed this. It's been an inside fight for the whole fight. And, and, so, and, and you don't get that a lot in boxing. No. A, lot, a lot of guys don't feel comfortable there. I like that. Are you serious? A lot of guys, as soon as they get inside, they start holding him immediately. Mm -hmm. These two guys have been working the whole fight. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jack Reese, you know, referee by night, real estate agent by day. For real? Yeah. There you go, good right hand from Taylor. And Taylor's starting to use his feet, he's starting to turn them, use the angles. A, a good looking Kuzway prospect. You know? Yeah, let me tell you, uh, Simone and uh, all that pressure and all that shit hasn't worked for at all. Like you say, he doesn't have a game plan or nothing. None. Who do you play for that? Oh shit. Hey, uh, a a Adrian Taylor just stuck in a little, a little uppercut on the inside, and I saw Simone really grimace. Yeah. But he's doing, Simone's doing the right thing. He's not staying on the outside. No. Body shot by Simone. And now he's bleeding. Now and now Simone is bleeding from his mouth and his nostrils. So wow. I think he's getting blown out. And I, you know, he's doing like he's doing he's executing half of his game plan right. He's closed the gap. He's not staying at the end of the punches, but he hasn't found that third and the third thing, which is which is find some space to explode and and, and, and hurt Adrian Taylor. And, and and he's actually been like crazy part about it. He's been pressuring the fight coming for the whole time, but he, he's not doing nothing for him. He's still arm punches. He's smothering himself. Yeah. Uh, someone wants to know is Sir, is the main event next for Sergey? No, it is not. Um, you still have the Ali Akmeda fight, the Ali Akmeda fight, which I think is the next fight. So after that fight, that's when um, what's his name? Sergey Bochuk fights yeah. Rafael Ubogwe. Yo, this whole fight was great, though. I ain't gonna lie. I have a 69 65 Taylor now. I got a 69 64 Taylor. Yo, wow. Taylor bleeding by a lot. So we head to the eighth and final round between Adrian Taylor and Rafael Simonian. Simonian needs a knockout. Simonian needs a knockout. So can he find it? He needs a knockout. And can Adrian Taylor see the fight out? He's got to fight one. All he's got to do is just get 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 to the end of this round, and he wins the fight. Yeah. So you know we're gonna see we're gonna see if Samoyan can execute his game plan. We're gonna see if Adrian Taylor if uh Adrian Taylor has the boxing IQ to to see the fight out. What channel is the fight on? It's on UFC Fight Pass. So if you don't got UFC Fight Pass, you're out of luck, champ. You're out of luck. Things be free stuff. Now, UFC Fight Pass is not free. Jesus. You know? But it is a good card, though. I, I would recommend anybody watch the card. If you got UFC Fight Pass, go ahead and watch it. Either way, you know, I'm probably going to do a prospect review video for every fighter that wins on this card. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good left hook again from Adrian Taylor. Ooh, Adrian Taylor's trying to feel himself. Oh, he's showing some footwork. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, that'll win her. Yeah. That. That's it. We're going to express the gym with, uh, with the dirt game. That game is no joke, I'm telling you. I really how they train. They train crazy. There you go. Good right hand again from Taylor. 90 seconds left for Rafael Simone to find that knockout shot. You know, Rafael Simone right now, he's fit the description of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a big, stiff, eastern block fighter. Guy with... I don't think he's throwing a jab yet. I don't think he knows what a jab no. is. Isn't that Abel Sanchez's fault? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. You got to start with the jab and go for it. He says he trained his fighter for knockouts, but Samoya hasn't even thrown punches like that. Wow. He's been completely neutralized by Taylor. Yeah, man. This is a good fight, though. Boxing on ice fight pass? No, no. Boxing on UFC. UFC fight pass. Yeah. You know? I don't, I don't got no damn link, so. Yeah, it's on UFC Fight Pass. Tommy Morrison versus Mike Tyson. Who would have won that dream fight, boss? Boy, who, who, oh, wow. That's been a good fight. That's been a great fight. I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty, what? Tommy Morrison was no, no joke back in the day. They trade left hooks. Um, I think Tommy Morrison might sleep, Mike. Uh, I they trade say, left hooks? I love Tyson, but I, my heart's going with Morrison. Morrison? Really? Yeah, I like I'm surprised. Morrison. Yeah, I like Morrison. Yeah, Prime Mike Tyson? Morrison was a beast at the time before he got crazy shit. and fucked up. Shit, okay. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know Pops made Tommy Morrison so highly. I like him. I like Morrison. All right, final 10 seconds here in round number eight. And I don't think Rafael Simonian's Hail Mary shot's coming anytime soon. So there it is. There it is. The fight goes the full eight rounds distance eight. Beautiful wow. performance from uh, Adrian Taylor, where you know you. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor was really had suffered some uh, had some scary moments early on in the fight, but he showed his composure, he showed his maturity, and he showed um, his ability to adjust. And I, I think it was a very mature performance for the for the for the prospect from Dallas, Texas. You know, yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, the, the way he came in there, he handled himself with maturity. He didn't he, he didn't panic when he was losing whatever round he thought he was losing. He came in there and did what he was supposed to do, and he, and he got it done. And what I like about this fight, this whole fight was a full inside fight game. And I like that. I like to see this. Like old school fight. Yeah, I don't like to just see from inside. I mean, I love everything else, but to see these guys. You don't want to see you don't you don't want to see these guys with that that pity pat outside stuff. No, every now and then you want to see these guys get on the inside, you know, meat and potatoes. Yeah, and I just, don't know what the hell Abel Sanchez uh, was thinking about. Man, Abel Sanchez don't even show you. He, 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 he's clutching the check right now. He, he, yeah. A lot of people keep asking me, is Sergey Boychuk next? No, Sergey Boychuk's not next. Um, the the co-main event hasn't even happened yet. So Ali Akhmedov has to have his fight first, and then uh, and then yeah. it'll be Sergey Boychuk. But H, hey, let me know, if you're here to support Sergey Boychuk, Feel free to let me know in that comment section. You know, I, want, I want to see what y'all think about Sergey Boychuk. You know, he was a fighter that was on the fast trying to do some good things. He was 18 and 0, 18 knockouts. He was like the Ukrainian Edgar Belanga, you know. And then, uh, then he ran to Brandon Adams, and Brandon Adams knocked his block off. So Jesus, it's you the, just never know. And it's the first, it's the first step in a rebuild. He put this chinchilla right back on. Hell no. Nah. That's something you you rate time, Brandon. Did he did he does he deserve to wear that? I, I thought I, I think I think he did great. It was a good performance. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it was a chinchilla performance, but it was it was a very yeah. good performance. Yeah, I'll tell you what chinchilla that I really like. Jeronis, you got you remember mine, but you got it. Jeronis yeah. is no joke when he wears that. Uh, Caleb says no. I have money on U Ubagwe for a decision. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people here coming for bets. No, no. Uh, Ubagwe, uh, he has that fight has happened yet. Wow. Well, we got a good record, brother. Sixteen and two, I think he's coming. Sixteen and two with seven knockouts. Yeah, so I mean, so we'll see what happens. Taking a long damn time to get these. Uh, here comes Joe Martinez. All right, so here comes the decision. Ho hopefully, 
We don't hear anything crazy because I don't think this was fight was that yeah, hard to score. No, this is a pretty straightforward fight to score between Adrian Taylor and uh, Rafael Simonia. So here we go. Here, here's the decision. Put that sound up. What? What? A draw? Hell no! Oh my god! He didn't win that fight. Yo. Hell no! Never fails, man. He was a fuck up. Yo. Hell no! I don't understand that decision uh, at all. You know, uh, both. Uh, what the fuck are you watching? Of experience, and uh, we had no difficulty. Oh my god! This is crazy. Like, you know what you said? Is, uh, what you say? Doug Fisher said, boxing used to be a classy lady, and now it's become a cheap hoe. It's all these decisions. So, wow. How did the guys put this in? So, that fight, the fight, ends, fight, ends, in fight, 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 even gave Simonia more than two rounds. Two rounds is the most I think you could. Two rounds is the most you could give Simonia. And look, he didn't win that fight by nine. He's yeah. ridiculous. Now look, it don't matter if it's matchroom. It don't matter if it's fucking top rank. It don't matter if it's showbox. Jeez, and it's, and UFC apparently, pass, apparently it don't even matter if it's UFC fight pass. Listen, how do these judges... boxing robberies will happen on any level? Oh and this God, is this man. is another this is another case of that. How so the man, hell, if man? You're just tuning in and you're wondering what the hell me and my pops complaining about. Fuck. Adrian Taylor, you know, a 12 one crew. Split right decision. He, this he, guy didn't do enough. This guy didn't do shit. He didn't do anything. He had that one good round where he hurt him, and that was it. I mean, he didn't get a knockdown. He was getting clipped. Clip, no, clip. man. These judges need to go to school. Yeah. They need to do something. They need to change this whole system all the way across the board. Some, some of them, some of them, honestly, God forgive me, some of them need to get shot. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, some of them need to get shot. How do you, how do you, first of all, how do you qualify to be a judge? I'll be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about this. this I'm really, really pissed off about this. is really, really bad. Like, right now, I'm angry right now. Yeah, look, you know. this, is why, this is why, like, split I, decision. I, I actually get more disgusted at these kind of robberies than the ones at the um at the championship level because, like, when, when a guy at the championship level gets robbed, he's going to get paid. You know, he they can do a rematch. It's right. a draw. And, and they'll make more money. And, and it's actually beneficial for the fighter to get a draw in some cases. But, like, this is a freaking Roy Jones Jr. promotion card, UFC fight pass. And you're really putting, like, that should have been win, a, a win for Adrian Taylor against a, a guy in Samoa. What is it? What? And, 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 and instead of him getting that win and progressing his career, now it's going to stop his momentum a little bit, and he might need to fight that guy again when he already beat him. Oh, and man, that, and just, that's that, that's just not, I'm just angry I know right life's not fair, I know boxing's not fair, but that, 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 that's, I'm very that, passionate. that's that shit we don't like. like so we, we almost had a perfect car, Pop. We almost had a perfect car, but. Well, we had the perfect fighters in there, and it was just a bad judgment on the, on the judges. Yeah. But other than that, I, I, I won't take away from, the, from what the fighters did and what Taylor did. Shout out to my guy, JDM Beats. This awesome channel, guys. Y'all going to blow up. Shout out from Fuck, OKC. Man. Absolutely. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. We're, 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 like, right now, I'm so pissed off still because, that, like, I'm, I get angry sometimes. And I shouldn't. I get a hard thing. I got my fucking monitor you can't, here. You can't get to it now, Pops. You got to get Pops a pre-heart pre, pre, pre -heart attack, but we can't wrong, have that. Man. It's wrong. This is actually... I How would to correct this? This is more wrong than... Like, yeah, yeah. Like when the yeah, because it, right, these are prospects, right? Like, what, money. Okay, look, what what benefit is it to to, to, to give a guy a draw for fucking Armenia? What, what, what kind of money are you gonna make? Right? I feel like someone you probably can't speak English. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm maybe I'm through. I'm just saying, in general, it's just wrong. Man, it's ridiculous. Well, Brendan, we win in all kinds of levels. Boxing. Oh no, no, I, I remember um a, that's, that's what, a, a but, couple of months ago. BT always tells me, keep up with mine, Brent. Like you, always, always. always. You tell me. It doesn't matter. Don't if it's... tell me about the record. Don't tell me about this. It's always the judges. Always the judges. It's like, um, I was watching a card on Showbox. I did a video about it. Um, mm -hmm. Janelson Figueroa, top 15 guy at, um, I think, Welterweight. Yeah. Fought Shannard Bunch from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, Shannard Bunch boxed the fuck out of him. And they called it, I think they gave the win. To, I think they gave the win to Figueroa. Figueroa. It was a 10 rounder. Figueroa lost the eight rounds. God, this, do yeah. judges have any conscience, Brendan? No. Like, how can you be, like, integrity? They're not just some other fight now. Anyway, the co-main event's about to start. Fucking pissed off. 
But I, I, I will be doing a video about this as soon as this as soon as this live is over. I'm doing a video about freaking Adrian Taylor getting robbed. Well, hey, That's gonna be its own video. Give me this out, though. Uh, huh? Um, my whole point is, um, don't the commissioners and and and, and Sancho bodies who chooses these judges? How do we qualify for that? Sometimes the promoters can choose the judges. Anyway, anyway, that's, a, that's I, another, that, that's another discussion for another right day. Now, I gotta, I, even when we go to this fight, I'm really upset. Bro. Coleman event, Ali Akhmedov uh, coming off of that, that dangerous loss, the horrible yeah. loss to Carlos Gongora. He takes the first step in his uh, rebuilding of his career. He's going to be fighting this guy right now. Let's see. Oh. Hey, honey, up with every shot. Um, and that was, box. yeah. Did you ever thought that? That was a Wallace dream? I mean, it's not the. I didn't rule it out. Yeah, you always didn't know. When, when, I, I, when, back when I heard the second scorecard and then they gave it a um, yeah. Zalonia, I knew. Right off the bat. I think, but you see, the, the upper hand of the Lumi is that you came from Las Vegas, you came from the and you seen the dirt side, the back side, the dark side. And that's where I get angry. I don't, I, I would be, I don't know what I would do if I was in your shoes, friend. Nobody can tell me what they're doing for my shoes. <laughs> But shout out to everybody here. We appreciate everyone. Hey, guys. Hit that like Hi, button. Bro. JDM Beats. Everyone, Trick, man. Uh, what is the name of Trick? Trick. Yeah, man, Trick. So our next fight is uh, we want our co-main event. Brazil, thank you. David Zagara versus Ali Akhmedov. But we're definitely doing a video for Adrian Taylor because uh, we have a responsibility here on this channel to tell the truth. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people probably aren't even watching this car. You know, I know right now people are live on the channel talking about Devin Haney and TV going on that ain't going on right now. But we got a responsibility, man. We got to tell the truth. So expect to post my review video on that fight. Henderson, stand up. How long till they actually fight? The next fight. When they actually fight? Don't ask. I don't know. The next fight. Yeah. We don't have to. Uh, we're going you're to like the th you're like the four thousand person. This is like a cold man right that's now. asking me that fight. But um, to answer your question, it's um right now it's the co main event. So when this fight is over, the main event will be next. Yeah. And, and this card is pretty good about moving pretty fast. Oh, it's been pretty good. I mean, as far as that, yeah. I mean, we're not even nine, we're not even ninety minutes in. This is the fourth fight. Yeah, party. and all the fights have been good. I'll be lying to you. Even even with that this position, I, I just I'm not mad at Marcus Judge, but it's been great. Years, so, yeah. oh, that's cool. Nah, I'm, I, it's cool. Um, shout out to you out there. And where are you from? He said he's from Australia. Shout out to you out there in Australia. Australia be careful out there. You all fight for your mandates. Welcome, welcome to the. Uh, be welcome, careful, guys. Welcome to the channel, man. All right, so Ali Akhmedov, his first time in the ring since we saw him get knocked out against Carlos Gondora. He's fighting David Zagar right now. We're here in round one. Boy BT, the untouchable true school sports empire. Here comes uh, Akhmedov. You know, Whatever, he's tall. And he's trying to establish that jab. And the first time I see him tall fight, I need you to see the, the, uh, the jab and I see the distance. And he's trying to do that. And you know what you know he looks like? I, I, I told you this once. He looks like uh, Chris Lawrence's son came in. Yeah, he does. I was just thinking when you told yeah, you right, yeah. Have you told Kennedy that? You told? Him? Yeah, tell him. I think I did once. He got uh, the Ali uh, White uh, George son. Shout out to him, man. You gotta give credit to the country from Pakistan. They, they, they put us a lot of boxes. Yeah. Triple G. Um, the guy just you listen left, off. He just left. Uh, yeah, he just left his own. He was a good fighter. He did? I don't think he's doing anymore. I don't think he's doing anymore. Yeah. Oh, good right hand there from David Zagara. So David Zagara is coming here from Mexico. Trying to really ruin this guy's. I tell you, if Ali Akhmedov somehow got knocked out or lost this fight, this would ruin his career. Yeah, this right here. Because Gongora was supposed to be a nobody. Yeah, and, and let me tell you that uh, he got ten years on this on on, on, on Gongora. Uh, and uh, Zagara. A Zagara and, and, a, and a gold and black trunks and uh and uh be, and he's tall. He used that height. Used that distance. Um, I want to see if he's got any power. There you go. Good double jab there by, uh, yeah. I made up. Yeah. For those of you just tuning in, I'm going to let you guys know the main event is next. Uh, right now, we're in the first of 10 rounds. 
the main event for Sari Boa Chuck versus Rafael Ubogwe is next. So, you know, if, you, if, if you've been waiting for that, stay tuned here. You know, make sure you guys comment. I'll get to your comment triple single in a second, but comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, we're here live for the for the super duper challenge. Yeah, man. I put the title super duper challenge. That's it. The yeah, super man. duper live. And it's been great so far. Oh, good right hand from Zagara. And Ahmed hasn't been hurt or bothered so far, but Zagara has been able to land some leather. So, yeah. Watch out for that. Zagara is still trying to uh, physically impose himself on Ahmed, but it's been to the other so far. Good left hook by Zagara. Here's the 10 round, guys. Good right hand by Ahmed. Yeah, Akmeda has been hit quite a few times. Yeah. And it's not having any effect on him at all. Tom Zagar, just keep hitting him. But just I like that he's just having that jab. Keep that distance. I remember when Carlos Gongora beat his ass. Who, uh, Carlos Gongora. Beat whose ass? Uh, Akmeda. Oh, he's on you bleeding right now. Oh, shit, he's bleeding. Uh, oh. David Zagar is bleeding. Yeah, you know Carlos Gongora? No, I don't know much about him. You know Paul's good. You don't want to talk about. If I, if I see, yeah, if I see him, I got a bad memory. I keep saying that. He's you guys, an Ecuador. Ecuadorian fighter. Yeah. Anyways. Triple single, what's up, champ? Have you heard about the Ugas versus Stiana's getting mandated by the WBA? Very quick mandatory order while the IBF have an order of mandatory out of Earl Spence until Campbell. Yeah. Earl Spence is ducking Al Ha, ha, ha. What do you call it? You saw like, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Um. H-Money. Yeah, H-Money. H-Money, you were going off earlier today. Yeah, yeah rolling. I was listening to earlier, but... um. Shout out to H-Money. Yeah, man. Uh, the IBF... IBF's weird because IBF's pretty good about the mandatory, but not what Earl, Earl Spence thinks it's been cool. You let him get a free pass? Yeah, it's been cool. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? The only person I've ever heard criticize Earl Spence is when I'm buying Abu Karkarov is Punch Drunk, so... Shout out to Punch Drunk. This might be the card of the year. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's been pretty good so far. I mean, wow. we'll see what happens with this co-main event. Coming after whatever so far. Yeah. Uh, the Bowen Chuck fight hasn't started yet, so I can't really tell you how it's going, Kevin. But shout out to you, Kevin from yeah. Chicago. Yo, people you. got money on that damn fight, huh? Yeah, people got money on these fights. Are you serious? Yeah. All these low fights like this? Yeah. People trying to people trying to some money, man. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be betting my boxing for the first time. I'm gonna put I'm gonna bet. <laughs> when, when I go to Las Vegas, I'm, yeah. When I go to Las Vegas uh, next month. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hundred dollars at Caleb Plant beats Canelo. I'm trying to come up. Oh, you like oh, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to come up, man. <laughs> we need to say I'm gonna make sure that you all know, but I'm, I'm trying to make a video on I'm, you guys. I'm trying to make an easy five hundred and fifty dollars. Go get them going, brother. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Ali I mean, he, he's he's got he's hurt. I, I I'm curious. For some, I, I have a strange feeling that the guy, the cigar guy, he's fighting is not naturally at the same weight class as Akmedov. You need to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this guy's landing punches that had no effect. Akmedov's landing grazing shots. Yeah. And there's guys getting pieced up and busted up. So I'll have to check to see what weight class cigar actually fights at. Because there's no way he fights at the same weight class as Akmedov. No. How can they match it up with that though? I think I made up as a middleweight. He might be a middleweight or 168. I think he's a middleweight. One mid middleweight or between 154 and 168. Yeah, yeah. What do you think uh, Gold is? Like, I think he looks... Zagara looks like he could be like a... 147. Like 54. I don't know. Maybe, 46. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's not a big guy. No. But credit to him for taking the fight. You know, he's a Mexican fighter. Yeah. Trying to... He's trying got to, a different style of Mexican fighter. Too. He don't got the Mexican style. At all. I'm trying to think of who he fights like. I have it in my head, but I can't make out who it is right now. That's the time when you to come to you. The next few months of boxing is some of the best boxing fights back to back to back. We haven't had a run like this in boxing for years. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have next week Joshua Usyk. Two weeks after that, we're gonna have freaking what's his name? Um, no, not Tia Pimo. Uh, well, no, yeah, the week after that is gonna be Tia Pimo Cambosos. Five days after that's gonna be Wilder Fury. Jesus. Um, two uh, two week like two weeks after Wilder Fury, we have Stevenson Herring. Wow. And then wow. we're gonna have Canelo Plant, and then like Cody had a couple. We're gonna have good boxing. Yeah. Oh shit! I may have had Zagara hurt. 
towards the end of the second round. Oh! <laughs> good left hook. Good yeah. left hook from us. Yeah. Yeah, Shout out to my man, uh, Stuck. My man, uh, Stuck in boxing poles. Ukraine in the house. So you, the Ukrainians. Shout out to Ukraine. The Ukrainians are here rep to, rep to represent for the guy, uh, Sergey Bolachuk. You know, Sergey Bolachuk. He's flying the flag high for Ukrainian boxing. He's the main event next. Shout out to you guys. Good support. Support the channel. True School Sports. Shout out to Ukraine. And everybody else that's here. Hit that like button if you haven't. And thank you so much. Hyra, where you at? I think he's walking. He's walking right now. He's walking. Oh, shout out to Hyra, man. God bless you. Here we go. Hyro says, we love the first ever bridge rate title, title fight, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 History's made. Hyro, Hyro, who are you picking that fight? Who, who are you picking about? Brian Jennings or Rebus? Because, you know, Rebus Re 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 from the first fight. I'm taking Rebus. Yeah? Yep. I don't, I don't know what you say. I'm picking Brian Jennings. Yeah. He, uh, he going to redeem himself and become champion. I mean, champion. you always go against each other. Yeah. Crazy. That's a crown fight. That's a crown fight. Yeah. I got Rebus, though. Jennings has been got his ass kicked out the last couple of times. He's gonna fight. Brian Jennings has given Joe Joyce to fight his career, though. Has he? Brian Jennings had a fantastic yeah. performance against Joe Joyce. He just had the punch power. Yeah. So Joe Joyce has walked through his shot. He's landing a lot of punches. Right. I've got Rebus. Yeah, Carr versus Porter, Folson versus Figueroa, Bitter BM versus Lucas, uh, Marcus Brown is likely. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. A lot of fights happening. He hasn't been active in a while. I'd like to see him. Yeah. Bad Lake Davis is fighting October 16th. Yeah, that's right. Bad, bad promotion, baby. Shout out to Noah. Oh, nice shot by uh. Oh, Ali Ahmedov starting to set that right hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this, man. Right they better take the time for Ali Ahmedov because they, 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 they put him on any killers in this video. He was fucked up. Yeah. He's lucky Zagar is not, is not a, a, a natural yeah. railway consciousness. Yeah. Because he even get, get hit with some hard shots. Yeah. The top, like, the Nazis are the same thing. Hyro says that Oscar Ross deserves this opportunity because he fought Dillian White, who was on PEDs. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Hyro. Is he a PBC fighter? Oh, yeah. My Igor Garcia is also fighting, too. Yeah, he's fighting something in Bumble somewhere. Not a Bumble. No, he's not. No, he's not right. He's coming back to fight yeah, somebody. I see the name. I'm doing the fucking thing. Yeah. Bonfire progress, but it's whatever money. But he wants to fight a bomb. Fuck out of here, Mike. You're a fucking diva. Yeah. Serve you tired. There you go. Good right hand from Akmedov. Oh, come on, man. Ali Akmedov has that European style, that East yeah. European style, man. He even fights like Kane. You think he, 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 you think he'd be good if he got sent by Warriors, Jim? He fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about Warriors Fox. Shout out to them, man. Respect to them. In Hollywood, Florida. There's a lot of Ukraine, Ukrainian, Ukrainian fighters, Russian fighters, everything. Yeah, man. Shout out to my guy, Ish Flex. I swear to God. He said, I swear to God. I don't, I don't, I don't regret clicking on this live. I love it. Hey, appreciate you, Chad. If you're new to the channel, Welcome to the channel, man. Yeah, we you God guys. bless you. Yeah. We're here, man, in the third round. You hit, listen, you're the whole boxing right now. Two two sports. This is the build deal here, baby. Yo, this guy's getting beat up in his eyes, uh, nose bleeding, everything. Cigar? Yeah, man. I made out piecing him up. Cigar's getting tired. Bro. Cigar's getting tired. I, I, I'm thinking these next two, three rounds, I made up. If I made up as, as any sort of quality, he, he has to get him out of here these next two or three rounds. This guy is, I don't know, I don't even know what weight class this is, but this guy, that his opponent is not in the same weight class. That's that, eight that rounds. much I know. He shouldn't go eight rounds, I'll be honest with you. I mean, uh, I can always, uh, what's his name? I'm not, what's his name? Ali Akhmeda. Yeah, him. He basically, I'm saying, he's not using his just the way he should. He's coming more forward, throwing the punches. He's not, he's close. Listen, uh, watching this fight, I haven't, watched, I haven't watched him fight in a long time. Yeah. But I'm seeing right now in this fight, even if he wins, I'm I'm being reminded of why of why Carlos Gilbert knocked him the fuck out in Hollywood yeah. when they fought. He keeps his hands down, doesn't keep his hands up, and uh, 
a lot of when times, he throws when, when he throws his right hand, I know when he throws the right hand, you watch him when he throws the right hand, yeah, the right hand he drops it and then he comes kind of and, forward. And, and I, mean, I, don't like, I don't like boxers get gassed up. I'm not saying he's not good, but sometimes he gets so gassed up. And he well, he was he was a good amateur and yeah. he signed a Triple G's promotional company. And the corner has stopped the fight for Cigar. Good job by his corner. So Ali Akhmedov gets a third round stoppage victory and then he salutes the crowd. So thank heavens. Thank, yeah, I thank don't think the it, but I still don't think it was a very impressive victory. It wasn't an impressive victory. Nah. I'm not going to sit here and. He think fought that. a guy that was 10 years older than him. That was a lot shorter smaller. than him. Yeah, smaller than him. Uh, we don't know if this. They don't look like they were the same weight class. Um, but respect to both fighters. They're both healthy, but. I think you're getting gassed up. Sometimes you get a gas. When you get a gassed up fighter. Oh, wait, oh. It, it, it just, it just, it just. What weight class? You become doing uh, what's called dissolutional. Yeah. And you think you're all this, but you're really not. But because you put it, put, put down with people with good fighters in you that are smaller than you, that are whatever the thing may be. Come on, man, please. Let me see. Uh, oh, the real uh, Hefe is here. My man Felipe out of Texas says, "What network is this on?" What's up, Hefe? It's on. on. It's on UFC. Fight pass. That's that's where it's at for me, babe. You know that that's that's where we at right now. We were just talking about you. We're claiming you as at home. Because the other guys out here, we're telling them they had a Dallas fighter on the car. I was yeah. saying, I, I was going for the Dallas fighter because I consider Dallas my second home. That's right. Thank you, Felipe. Uh, Ali Ox made up. Okay, let me see. What the hell is this guy doing? The amateurs that had everybody so gassed up. I gotta see what this guy. Did. That was, he didn't do shit in this fight. He didn't use the situation. Use the distance. And, and and I mean he fought a lot a guy shorter than he was. He fought a guy that was ten years old. I was, so come on, man, you gassing the motherfucker up until four. You actually man, uh, he started a GGG you, promotions. I it's a damn GGG. <laughs> we don't know who he is, where he's at. So uh, what I'm saying is, um, you you you're setting up these fighters. Some of, when you do something like this, to, I'm not saying about this. Is, I'm saying in general. When you got fighters in there. And you put up with weaker opponents or opponents of that, like not even their level, or you guys this guy like you call this and that, you're setting up for fairs with big fights. All the fighters that he fought and the amateurs that that that, 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 that that's names that I know, he lost to. He lost to Joshua Watsi, and he also lost to Steve Nelson. Man. So make of that you have to think what you got. Make of that what you will. Uh he's a uh Oh, he's a sixty eight pounder. Yeah, there's no way in hell that this guy is no, he look, he look like his opponent. His opponent is a clear 54 pounder. He's 154 at least. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna turn myself. But 10 years old. 10 years old too. Cigar. Let me see. Cigar. 34 and six. Mm -hmm. It says he's a middleweight, but I don't. I don't. I just don't believe that. Apparently, no, David Lemieux fought this guy too. His last fight. This guy right here or the other guy? The opponent. The opponent. Yeah. I right, beat him down to a pole. He got knocked him the fuck out. I'm telling you, TKO. Um. Yeah, so he's a 68 pounder. So I'll, I'll tell you this, man. I wouldn't. I, I don't think he should go anywhere near Benavidez, Plant, Canelo, anybody who. Uh, uh, who else? Nah, they they, he he's not ready for any. Uh, I mean that. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to be harsh on Akmeda because you know prospects can mature, they can't get better. I don't even think he'd be Belanga. Yes, Belanga. Full up real quick. You know why? I mean, Steve, Steve, well, Steve. Well, I know Steve, he's playing here, Brandon, Steve Nelson. Brandon, he keeps his hands down. Steve Nelson. Steve Nelson beat him in the amateurs. I think Steve Nelson will beat the shit out of him in the pros. Because he just has the same rhythm every single time. Uh, he punches are yeah, very, very predictable. And he drops his hands. He drops his hands. You can't drop your hands from nobody. No, you can't. Shout out to my man, Enrique Luno. He says, Jake Paul is going to help Manasar with negotiations for the K. Taylor fight. Serrano is a free agent and a uh, promoter. Yeah, man, Jake Paul. Who would have thought that Jake Paul is a savior of women's boxing? Nah. Yeah, respect to him, man. He just made most most, vi yeah. most viable promotions is not here to come to take names, here to take over. Hey, so he lives in Puerto Rico, so you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? He got that beautiful Puerto Rican Latin movie. You know what I'm saying? Jake Paul, you you the man, man. I was I was talking to someone in boxing, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you guys. The name. I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of this person. I was talking to somebody in boxing, and I was telling them about Jake Paul, right? Jake so Paul, I, I was, him up in Puerto Rico. I was telling them about how Jake Paul gave Amanda Serrano five hundred thousand dollars, and she made forty two thousand. So I, I told him she made five hundred forty two thousand dollars in total, but she made five. She got five hundred thousand because Jake Paul gave it to her. Yeah. And he said <laughs> nothing for free. This person, I'm, I can't say on there, but this person said that, uh, yeah, she she, uh, she probably sucked Jake Paul's dick. 
I was laughing. Hell I, I, I was laughing. Hey, listen, man. This is a girl that doesn't have a phone. What are you telling me that? She don't got a phone. She don't got a phone. Come on, man. Hey, listen, man. This is a girl that doesn't have a phone. What are you telling me that? She don't got a phone. Come on, man. Come on, baby. I don't, I'm not saying that she did this. I'm not saying this. So don't say, don't say that I'm saying this. I'm okay. saying someone that I know yeah. in the boxing world, whose name I'm not going to say because you guys all know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, said, he told me this recently. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, remember what I was saying? When you told me that, when you told me that time, when you told me that, Serana, uh, Serana doesn't have a, uh, she doesn't have a cell phone. Cell phone? They, they said, Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We're living hey, in 2021. Let's take a poll. Let's take a poll. So Amanda Serrano says she has no cell phone. And she says she ain't got no damn boyfriend. So hell no. Nah. Do you guys do you guys believe Amanda Serrano? Do, do, do you think Amanda Serrano has Listen, a cell phone? And do you think she has a boyfriend? Listen, if she don't have that. She's getting piped by somebody. I'm telling you straight up, she getting piped by somebody. That bullshit with no phone. We live in 2021. We live in 1979 and 80s. We live in 2021. Every motherfucker got a phone. You think she break down by herself? She don't got a phone. Who she in the car? Ghostbusters? Oh man! Many best coming up, guys. Oh god, here comes shout out to my boy Shakur out there in the UK. He says, "Yo, beat shout out UK, Papa BT." I was still thinking you guys weren't going live, but I'm here now. Have you fixed your car yet, pops? Yes, I have. I actually, well, I got it running. I got, I got it running. I took BT out of this crazy ass lost island that we're in, fancy island, and it's funny. I got to put a sense in it, but yes, it's running. So tomorrow so, I'm with the so so we go ahead to our main event. We, we look forward to our main event now. For those of you asking, is the main event coming? The main event the UK, baby. is upon us. Sergey Boa Chuck versus Rafael Ubogwe from Houston, Texas. UK by way of Nigeria. By way of Nigeria. UK Everton, baby. Everton's coming for you all. Saturday, Aston Villa. And yeah, Aston Villa. we you know. Apparently, Take your names. Apparently, I was reading today. Apparently, you know the oldest, the game that they played the most, and the oldest fixture in all of. English football is actually Everton versus Aston Villa. Are you serious? Yeah, it is actually. Wow. So there's a lot of history there. A lot of history. Wow. Anyway, back to boxing. Oh, man. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Felipe says, bro, in a few, I won't have a phone, lol. Let my assistant handle the calls. Maybe she handles it like that. Possible. Maybe, maybe you're talking about you can't know using somebody else's phone. Say, yeah. Yeah, that's what he it's said, possible. Yeah. Hey, Felipe. Hey, yeah. come on, Felipe. Listen, for, those, for those of you who don't know, that, that, that's my guy right there. That's, that's the man right there. The real El Jefe, my man Felipe. If, if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, you want some cars? Oh, you want detailing? You want everything? Go to Felipe. For all your car needs, detailing, all that stuff. If you're in the Dallas, Grand Prairie area, go to Grand Prairie, Texas, 242 South Baghdad. Drive, I think South Baghdad Drive. I could be wrong. I could be yeah. right. 242 South Baghdad Drive, park detailing and recon. That's where you gotta go. Whatever you want, Let's go to Felipe. The best company in town, Felipe, baby. Harold says that's a lie, BT. She's tweeted from the iPhone. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Harold putting you on game. That's what I'm saying, Harold. Well, Harold, when, he, when BT told me that shit, I said, <laughs> I don't know who told him that lie, but who told him that lie? No, no, no. Get out of here. Nobody's going to lie. I'm just telling you yeah. what Amanda, Amanda, okay. Amanda said. Thank you. Nash. Here, Kimberly Cobos Cawthorn. Thank you all for joining us tonight and bringing boxing back UFC Fight Night. Thank you. So, Lee said, LOL, red handed. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Awesome sponsor. Cut that go. Services. Let's give them a round of applause. From the main event, just moments away on UFC Fight Pass. I can't believe what life of this car, but it's actually turned out pretty good. I, I've enjoyed the car. I have. The only fight that was a bit underwhelming was a the coin event, but yeah. other than that, yeah, and the bad decision. Uh, yeah. It's been a pretty good, it's, been, it's actually been probably one of the best cars I've watched this year. Yeah. BT, you know who I rock with. Um, hold on. BT, you know who, I, you know who the rock is. I need you to say, finally, Pops has fixed his car. In Miami, Florida. Not, not yet, champ. Oh, just, just a little finally. bit. Ago, finally. Finally, I got it running. You have the rock test for it. Finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the rock is like, finally. Hey, Miami. We'll keep it posted, man. Shout, Shout out to the UK, baby. Hey, I'm just gassed that it's going to be fixed before Wednesday. Or it, it's, it's already fixed. First day today, we're going to the And then Wednesday, we're going to the Marlins game. Yeah. I'm pretty gassed to go to the Marlins game. Yeah. Shout out to the Marlins. We're going to win the World Series. Probably, if not, 
if not 2023, by 2024. Yeah. Anyway. National right now, we split the national anthem. The national anthem is about to be sung for the main event. For the main event. So if you if you wonder what the hell happened in the main event, it hasn't started yet. So we here. Are these are 13 things? Uh, I can't wait oh, yeah, to see what happens with Sonny Bullshot. Sonny Bullshot. Rest in peace, you guys. Who's this? Who died? All these people died because of the fucked up administration we got right now. Fuck them all. <laughs> Fuck Biden and this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck them. All these veterans died. Young people died through this stupidity. And they still got Americans back there. Anyways, let's talk to boxing. Nothing before that, though. It's a matter of I, I'm just saying, I, I, I know it's nothing special. It's stupidity. You just lost 13 lives for no reason. It would have been me. It would be different, right? Yeah, think about it. <clears throat> so yeah, man, it's been it's been an interesting night of boxing. I mean, you know, it's crazy. Pops, this is the fifth fight on the card. We we ain't even have two hours yet. They cram they cram freaking damn near five fights in two hours. Yo, this has been the fastest. This is the fastest card I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I don't know how, but it's, it's crazy. crazy. Some 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 fight. We've been to some cards that last forever. We wish we could get done with it. Absolutely. All right. RIP to the brave men and women who died yeah, that's right, man. Um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the line of duty and battle. And the men and women that fight for our freedom both at home and abroad. Now the Felipe says, I can't find this fight. You're not going to find it on a stream. It's only on UFC Fight Pass. Now, you may ask why I'm going live for it. Why not? <laughs> why not? But it goes to every, for everything. You got good process videos coming from this. I'm going to have a couple process videos. I feel bad for Adrian Taylor. Yeah, that was a bad. That was a Adrian bad Taylor got robbed, man. They got robbed. Hello, Lewis. Lewis, how did he get robbed when he won that fight? Come on, man. You said Felipe is going for uh, huh? I'm like, I need to ask him. Hey, Felipe, man, who you going for, man? I'm going for Plant to beat the shit out of Canelo. Who you going for? <laughs> oh man! Shout out to Felipe. Is it on pay per view? Um, it's not pay per view, but it's on UFC UFC Fight Pass. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I think that's like a subscription set. I don't know what that is. I, I didn't pay for it. Uh, Hyro hooked me up. That, that, that's why I'm watching it right yeah. now. Thank you, Hyro. Hyro Har- 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 was adamant the whole week. He said, "PT, you gotta go live for Sergey Bovichuk. You gotta." So. And it's been a good, 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 good card. Felipe said he's looking for Caleb Plant. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Who you going for? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Real question, about Felipe, are you gonna be? In Vegas for the Caleb Plant fight, by the <laughs> That's what I need to know. Are you going to be in Vegas for the Caleb Plant fight? Are you going to be your cousin? Your cousin's a big Caleb fan. We know, we know, we know, we know. Shout out to Pete. Where, Pete. Wherever Pete's at in the world, I know, I know Pete will yeah. be there. But, um, you know. I mean, they, they got that fight. You got that one. Crawford. Um, Crawford versus, and, and Porter. Who, they like Crawford and Porter. Who do you like? Gasco. Hey, Felipe, you like Crawford and like Porter. Yo, 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 I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting excited, man. He can hear you. He yeah, hear yeah. You. Let's, Let's go. go. Said he'd rather go to college versus Porter. I'm gonna be at that fight, Felipe. So if you, if you, I, I, I'll be, I'll be in Vegas probably that whole month, pretty much. Who, who's he got there, Crawford though? Uh, yeah, Crawford. Or, who, who you got winning, up, Felipe? Crawford or Porter? But he, he, he said he's gonna go to Crawford Porter, so he, or he might, he'd rather go to that fight. So if he, yeah, probably better, I yeah. mean, better prices too. Hyro says pops is a New Yorker. Absolutely, Hyro. Don't, don't, no, don't ever disrespect my bloodline like that. My I'm actually from Boston. I'm from Massachusetts. I got that Boston accent, Puerto Rican, and you know what I'm saying? But let me say I'm a New Yorker, so fuck it. It's East anyway, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody says I'm a New Yorker. Everyone thinks you're a New Yorker. Quiet Canon, I have not figured out why they... Can you tell me why I don't know. I know, and I always want to call it the Quiet Canon. Well, I did that for an hour and a half. So why not we just wait for the... Uh... Hey, Flip, answer your question. He says, uh, I'm split on that fight. I want Porter to win because he deserves more credit than he gets. But I also want Carter to win this fight. Win this fight to fight Spence. I think Porter 
puts pressure and he can't win a split decision. So we'll, we'll uh we'll definitely see, man. We'll definitely see. Oh, he's right. What he's saying though, that's um, true. What he's saying about four though. He always has a close fight and uh, doesn't do much with it. So, hundred percent right on that one. Didn't he get a cl- I, he got a close decision against Danny? I think. Did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, as far as look, Felipe, I hate the bear bad news. I don't think that Spence fight's happening. I think Spence's career is done. I I hope I'm wrong. I don't wish bad on him, but like, you know, with with Spence, you know, he had the retina injury, the car crash, you know. He's doing pretty good, so I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it will happen. But we'll, hopefully it can. Hopefully it can that he can be 100% again. Anybody got Yo. All right, so the, the main event is about to start. For those of you asking who won, yo, I'm telling you right now, if y'all keep asking who won the fight, I'm going to keep telling you. I'm, I'm going to start giving y'all bad information. So don't ask me. <laughs> no, I'm not even saying that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But look, uh, the, the main event is about to start. Um, it's about to announce the uh, fighters. Ubogwe, I think, is making his way to the ring right now. But some music and stuff. Another young man that didn't have a lot of uh, amateur experience, only 11 fights. He's the lone softball on the card tonight. What's this fight from Texas? You know what I mean? That's him right here? There he is. Oh, shit. He's playing. Rafael Bogue from Nigeria. He's got the post from Nigeria. Look at, looking to ruin the career of Sergey Boychuk some more. What the fuck is that going on here? Yes. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, Oboboy's uh, spots some really good fighters like Regis Progray, Austin Trout. All right. So he, 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 he gets good work there in Houston, Texas. H Town. H Town, we ain't heard. All these fighters are from Texas, believe it or not. Like, what? Like, Taylor looked good from Houston. No, Taylor's from Dallas. From Dallas, yeah, I'm just saying, from Texas, I'm sorry. And his opponent is going to make his way to the ring, fighting out of the right corner. Hailing from Los Angeles, here is Sergei Bohatru! Let's have a big chocolate. Look. If anybody wants to see him, because they're fighting, fighting. Got a little falling over there. Yeah. So, so here comes Sergei Bohatru. You know, a guy that's, that's planned for derailed by Brendan Adams a couple months ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking to rebound. You know, looking to rebuild his career and get back on track for the Derail by Brendan Adams a couple months ago. Looking to rebuild his career and get back on track tonight against the tough game and formidable. Rafael Ubogwe. Hyro says, This is not the smallest card you went live for. Pops went live for that Rumba side card in Thailand, and I know he tried to pump that fight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you, Harold. You, you, you're you on top of it, baby. You know, you know that card? I, did, I tried to go on. Yeah, you know, know that card? It was the day before Tal Yeah, yeah. Uh, I started too. You're on it, Harold. Respect. Boxing Hog 28 says, what's up, BT? How you doing, bro? I'm, I'm doing exceptional, man. Uh, enjoying a good Thursday night of boxing. How about yourself? Hit that like button if you have it. Yo, I'm taking this guy from Nigeria. I like him already. The persona, his green and white, the colors, the way he's coming in here. I like him already. This guy's gonna get fucked up right here. What's his name, bro? What's his name? Bolochuk. Sorry, Bolochuk. Sorry, Bolochuk. I respect you, but you're gonna get fucked up. You see that man? They always hate on the Ukrainians, man. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't want to see a Ukrainian man succeed. That's not really true. They don't want to see yeah. a Ukrainian succeed. Take where he from? Ukraine. There you go. You should believe him. There you go. You should got a big fight coming up with Joshua. Yeah. Program reminder for next week. We'll, we'll, we will be live next weekend as well for Joshua versus Usyk. So please. Uh, Go there, uh, join us next week for that as well. Oh, look at Hi- Hyro getting real cut. Hyro is a man of the people. Hyro just dropped a link. I don't know how. He found the stream for the people out there that don't have UFC fight. God pass. bless you, Hyro. Hyro, thank you for the so link. Click the link that Hyro really The link is there. Everybody at the chair, everybody out there, the link is there. For the main event, you got money, you can watch it. Hyro just uh, dropped a link. Thank you for supporting two sports. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's tall. He's young. All of this wins by knockout. All of them. He, he, he literally does not know how to win a fight by decision. He's got real power. If he has no defense, if he's standing there right there, Paul, yeah. You gotta do a great I'm not gonna go about the resume because they can go anywhere else and fight uh, 
three boxing fights. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, the one fighter that we know that he fought was Brandon Adams, and he got yeah. fucked up by Brandon Adams. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Brandon Adams to, to see what's that for his career, because that was a big win. Yeah. Oh, this guy is short. But I got, I got the night. Jerry, look at him. He's tough, strong. Let's go, right, Jerry? Yeah. Niger boy, Lego, yeah. Lego, Lego City, stand up. Got a name of trouble. He got on his, the. There we go, guys. The main events now. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some more. I'm gonna buy some more. Some little bit of some. All right, here we go. So Rafael Ubogwe versus Sergey Bovachuk. This moment to wait. Here we go, round one. Bovachuk in the blue trunks, Ubogwe in the green trunks, representing his native country of Nigeria. The South Paul versus Orthodox match. You already see uh, Bovachuk got that, got that, that real. Eastern European style, yeah. though. the hand in front, upright. I don't like it. It's not that like jab, though. Uh, last there you go. Jab from Oboe. Yeah. Oboe. There you go. Oboe already finding some success at home for that jab early here in the, in the first round. The shorter guy, too. I think Oboe would have a lot of chance to, uh, a big chance to land a lot of jabs because literally, like, Boa Chuck. Bowen Bo- 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 Chuck makes himself a tall target, and you see already playing a lot of jabs up yeah. top. And he's not losing his distance either. He's not a bowl check. He's got distance. Fuck, man. The European fighters, man. Another up jab by Ubogwe. Ubogwe already in the first minute of this round. So when he he ain't really getting touched too much, and he's able to land pretty much at will. And get his side, too. Nice. Good body shots there by a bow boy. The best uh, European European fighter was uh what uh Macheco? Yeah, no, not Macheco. No, fucking Usyk. No, um, oh, good defense from a bow boy. Parrying oh, shots. Um, Another jab from a bow boy. And so know. far, bow shot. Batali, Batali, Batali Klitschko. Yeah, Klitschko. That's the best. Best. He was tall. There you go. Left hand on the guard. And that was that jab. Everything had to do. All these other fun fights I've seen, they're not doing that. Yeah, so far, Bowen out to a good start. Uh, out boxing and out jabbing the taller Ukrainian. Bowen Chuck's stalking them around the ring, trying to look for those big shots. And I'm gonna tell you this, man. If Bowen Chuck can't find those big shots and hurt Ubogwe, I think he's in a world of trouble. Good left hand by Ubogwe. Bowen Chuck's hitting on back. Oh, good right hand by Bowen Chuck. There you go. So Bochuk lands his first good right hand of the fight so far. And you can see Bochuk's face already marked up. This was a jab. A jab that Bochuk has been able to land. 40 seconds left here in round number one. There you go. Good overhand right there by Sergey Bochuk. Bochuk. He's walking into a jab and shit. What do you think so far? Huh? Why did you so far, though? Um, I think I think Bochuk, I think Bochuk needs to get that front, that lead hand that 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 jab established. You know, it's not that they're doing. Ah, I mean, shorter guy, he can he can inside. Ooh, oh, and yeah, the boy talking hella shit after round one. So yeah, oh, no. Boy is not is not short on confidence at all. But uh, I, I gave him that first round. Um, I thought he had boxed him. I thought I thought the up jab was working really well for him. Um, so yeah, for those of you tuning in that are wondering what's going on, I got I got it one nothing for Rafael Ubogwe. He broke that tall height. He, he, he sort of fired him. He broke him in. He's going inside. He's getting his jab. That was yeah. I love that name. Trouble. Trouble. Raphael Trouble with Baldwin. And right now, I mean, listen, it's only round one, so you don't want to hit the panic button yet for Bowen Chuck, but yeah. you got to think. He just got knocked out against Brendan Adams. He's not up to a great start in round one of this fight, so you know, how, and, and, how is his confidence going? Right 
You talk about Hanwha, you think he's hungry. He's hungry. He wants it. But if I was going to lead somewhere, I'd give him a trip. Look at that. Onto the body. 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 Um, just, just for those of you who are uh, James Smith, the commentator said, Oh, it's a good round. No, fucking not. <laughs> yeah, no. There you go. Boy, Chuck's starting to throw some uppercuts now. There you go. Well, Bowie pushing him back in his chest. And, and so Boa Chuck does not look comfortable when a Boa closes that gap. Right? Uh, if I were Boa I would close that gap some more because Boa Chuck doesn't look comfortable at all. That was a body shot from Raphael Uboe. Yeah. There you go. Good right hand from Bullet Chuck. There you go. But it's not hurting him. There you go. Right hand around the guard from Bullet Chuck. And Bullet Chuck's trying to get that right hand to start working out. Oh, sure. And you got to go in there and take your chances. I mean, I, I like the inside. I like what he's doing. He's flipping back right before I'm talking Bullet Chuck. There you go. Another right hand from Bullet Chuck. There you go. And now, now Bullet Chuck's on the. He's parrying, he's parrying that jab from uh, a bull way now. And, oh! Here you go. Here comes the right hand down the pipe. Left hook from Bullet Chuck. And now Bullet Chuck's on the. Really fight the fight he wants to fight. Left hook, uppercut. Oh my god. Oh, when he puts it together, it's gonna watch. Here comes the Sergey Bullet Chuck combination. Steak knives. Laser beam right hands. Oh, yeah. He's starting to fuck this dude up. Badly. Come on. Come on, bro. Oh, another right hand from Bullet Chuck. And oh, left hook, shit, uppercuts. Fuck. And now you're starting oh, to see the whole shit. the whole punch selection from Boa Chuck. Come on, Bravo, go hold on. There you go. And it looks like the Boa Boy, uh, Boa Chuck has figured out the Boa Boy. He's just blocking that. He's blocking that jab with the with the left hand up, and then he's moving forward and he's shooting so, whatever he sees fit. The right to the body. Jesus. Yeah, a Boa Boy can't hurt Boa Chuck. So a, I think a Boa Boy has to find um, wow. something else. Different than the round one because now Bow Chuck made the adjustment. Oh shit, this guy's piecing him up. Fuck. Damn, man. Come on, Nigeria. There you go. Good body shot from Bow Chuck. Right hand to the body, right hand to the top, to the head. And, and uh, what his name is? He got no power. None. Yes. So Raphael Bow is trying to fist it as hell. Yes. And now it, Bow Chuck's oh, giving him. Bow Chuck's showing him. Zero respect. He's moving in right on with, with 20 seconds up here in the round. And he's throwing all kinds of hard punches from the left hooks to the to the right hands. And Bogway just has to block them. And, and Bogway's punch count. Oh, his, God, punch, can't his punch out punch oh, is lower. Right, right, oh, oh, right hand, left hook, right hand. Oh, my Lord. And one there one. you have it. You know, a dominant round, a dominant second round from Sergey Bogachuk. And that's the way. You know, you want to, you want to always. He's not hurting him at all. Who? Uh, the other guy, what do you think? A bow boy. A bow boy's not hurting him at all. Because the adjustment he made, he made, he made one little adjustment. Instead of having that wide guard, he just keeps that left hand yeah. right here to parry. Yeah. And, and he's, he block, right, he's yeah. blocking his jabs. Yeah. And he comes with the right keys. He keeps that punch. Yeah. And he's throwing jabs, right hands, uppercuts. Oh, shit. You got one? Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, he's piecing him up like a, like a puzzle. Piece by piece. Brick by brick. Dissecting him. Left hooks. Oh, my God. This, this, this ain't going to go 10, brother. This ain't going 10. Hyrule uh, <laughs> <laughs> says, Raphael Ubalwe almost has the same record as Lomachenko. You hear that, Felipe? <laughs> you hear that? You hear, you hear Felipe? He got almost the same record as Lomachenko. Uh, anyway. Let's see. Let's see if Boboy can adjust to the adjustment and uh, take control back of the fight. Cause now Boachuk, you see Boachuk, he just he's blocking with that with that lead left hand. Now he's blocking everything, picking everything off that lead left hand, yeah. and it's allowed him to move forward and set that dynamite right hand down the middle. Oh my God! Good left hook from Boachuk. I think he's taking him up, but not gonna lie. And, hey, Boboy's firing, but they're hitting his gloves. There's no power in that. And it's they're hitting his gloves. Oh, Another right hand from Boa Chuck. Come on, boy. Ooh, oh, rib dinners. My man handed out rib dinners. Up. Great body up. shots from Boa Chuck. All, all over the place. Oh, my God. Come on. Yo, I got to get close to a uh, boy. Can he stand in there and take a shot? Yes, 
Yes, sir. Get out that rope, man. He fucked you up last time. Oh, my Lord. And the crowd cheers so again. And then the body shots, some little sneaky body shots are, are having an effect on Ibogwe. And Ibogwe is not moving. He is caught oh in the corner. God. And get now he's trying to tie him up. And he's in trouble. The boy, get up to the side. Get inside. Move around. Is that what you said, brother? When the, when the fire not knows that the corner punch is not hurting him, he just goes forward. Yeah. Oh, my God. Good body shot from the right hand by Oh, my God. Jeez. He's just digging that right hand to the stomach. Nice. Come on, but that's not doing nothing. It's not hurting him. Oh, there you go. Good body hand. Good boy, Chuck. That right hand is killing him. Now, what I like about Boy Chuck, he's not just standing there in front of him. He's punching him and then creating new angles off of him. Yeah, he's not moving to the side. Oh, my God. He's looking at the top. He's up, right? And now he's, now he's making the Cardinal instead of squaring up. He's squaring up right in front of Boy Chuck, and I can only – it's only a matter of time before Boy Chuck throws an overhand right or oh, something. Oh, another shot by Boy Chuck. Boy Chuck is going to hit him with an overhand right soon or something. If he, if he keeps squaring up like that in front of him. Jeez. Oh, my God. Move to the side. Slip. Don't stand there. There you go. Good right hand by Boltrug again. And now, almost, it seems like almost everything that Uboe is throwing is getting blocked. It's getting blocked and he's getting That's what body, body shots. Another body shot. 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 Another Obogu won the first round, which is the killer round, but now Obogu. Oh, my God. Oh, another shot by five. Boat Chuck is beating his ass right now. Beating the fuck out of him. Right hands, left hooks. And he's pressuring, too. He's not saying back. I mean, those two boys could. He's trying to fight back. I've got I've got Sorry Boat Chuck up two two rounds to one. Obogu yeah. is losing. Two to one, I got it the same way. I don't know why I should be asking who won the fight. Like, 10 of y'all asking who won the fight. They got money on the fight, I'm man. I'm telling y'all who won the fight. They got money on the fight. Obogu is getting it. Listen, listen, if you better know Obogu, Barring any unforeseen miracle, you are going to lose your money. He's getting fucked up. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, big time. I mean, the first round was good, but after that, um, when a fighter knows that, you, that you're not hurting him, Bernie knows that the fight is that uh, a guy is throwing is not hurting him. And the big mistake he's doing, he's staying in the ropes, and 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 Bart is using him as a punching bag. He's not moving to the side, coming to the right. Shout, shout out to Major Key Boxing. What's good, man? What's up, Major Key? Shout out to you. Glenn. Hey, Glenn. What's up, Glenn? Say, boy, say, boy, Chuck's fucking this dude up right now, man. This is, Uboe needs to, see, this, this is why it's important to have punches with some dexterity from different angles that, that are a bit weird because you get a guy, a guy like Boa Chuck, see, he made the adjustment. He's just going to stay in the high guard. He's going to have that left hand tucked a little bit closer to his head. And he'll use his backhand to parry, his left hand to parry. But and slipped. now now he's moving now he's moving forward at will because Uboe throws the same punches. And he and he's not moving slipping to the right, to the left, he's standing right there. Look at that. And and, and Boa Chuck's being really smart by, by throwing those body shots down there because now it's making Uboe more of a stationary target. Jeez. Oh my god, look at this. Beating the fuck out of him. Oh my lord. Oh, god oh my. damn, flip, man. Step to the right, step to the right, right, left, do something, don't stand in the middle of him. Pops, he's done. Oh, look at that shot by Boa Chuck. Boa Chuck is killing this dude. Pops, I, I'm sorry, you got to give a hold. He's done. Yeah, he's done. He's I, I, done. I, 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 I got the white flag already. Yeah, Boa Chuck better, I mean. Oh, my God. Virgil throwing right, left. He needs a miracle from God. Dinners, going to the top and hit. Oh, my God. Because now, now Boa Chuck actually fight. He's showing me something a little bit different this fight. He's not fighting in a in a straightforward fashion, but now he's throwing using some angles, yeah. things like that. And Surrey's defense better. It's been been good so it's been better this fight than it was the Adams fight. But at the same time, the punches that Adams was hurting Bochuk with have not been thrown by Bogue. The punch that hurt Bochuk was an uppercut right. on the inside. I don't think he Bogue's thrown. One. I, haven't, I haven't seen that uppercut yet. Oh boy, every line, I ain't lying to tell you. That. Ah. Oh, good right hand by. Uh, oh my God! He said, "Get out the corner, man." Jesus, he turns up, buffer. A boy stupid, stay in the corner. He's, oh my God, he's piecing them up. They're both in the middle of the ring, and they're piecing them. Oh, how you saying? He's getting, getting ribbon dinner, brother. He's handing out the ribbon dinner like it's a, like it's the mother loving family dinner. Oh my Lord! 
You know, you think, you think it's gonna go ten? I don't think it's gonna last ten, but this is gonna go six at most. Oh. Slowly breaking down. I mean, the boy is trying to fight back, but it's not hurting her. He's squaring up, too. He's he squaring up. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's going to be this round. I heard your opponent. You're done. Absolutely. Shout out to everyone here, yeah. man. Oh my God, I can't believe that. We're frozen now because the internet went out. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, I'm back. Can you, can, can you guys see me? Let me know in the comments if you guys can see me, man. I'm at the, the internet went out. Fucking bitch ass Comcast went out, but we're good. We're back. We're back, man. We're back. I I missed the last couple of rounds of the of the fight, so I don't I don't exactly know. You know what happened? All right, good, good. We're, we're back. We're back. We're running. It's your boy BT, the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. What, what round is this fight in? What round is this fight in? There you go, round six. All right, so we had, we had a round six. Why is this shit popping up on the screen? So Ubogwe is bleeding right now. His mouth is open. It's, it's still a it's still a very very one sided fight from from what the commentators are saying and from what I can see now. Ubogwe is just fighting very cautiously and defensively. There we go. Now now we got everything good, man. They try to keep me down. The Comcast try to get me beat, but we we can't be beat. We untouchable, man. We here. Shout out, th 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 thank you guys for sticking with me. I was going crazy when the internet wasn't working. But, um, I was going nuts. But Sergey Bolshak continues to press forward. You know, landing right hands. He's really, really, really a high half of the cards right now. Oh my! Look, look at Bolshak. Uh, Bolshak is bleeding profusely. Look at his eyes. Oh, good right from Bolshak. The referee did say in between rounds that uh, he's not going to watch much more of this. So, you know, another dominant round and. You know, it could be the it could be the end for Obogwe. Yeah. There you go. Good left hook again from uh Bochuk. And, and Bochuk's just giving Obogwe a slow, methodical beating. That's true. You know, very slow beating. There you go. Good left hook again from It's cool outside, ain't cool here. There you go. Good good uppercut from um Obogwe's got no energy. None whatsoever. A lot, of, a lot of these punches he's throwing are arm punches. He's cocking, he's cocking the, his hands back, and his punches aren't doing anything. Uh, I got, I got, I don't think Abogas went around yet. Nah. In the first Except round. In the, in the first round. He won, he won the first round. Ever since the first round, he's lost oh, every, first, he's lost yeah. every round since then. Yeah. Maybe he didn't lose the last round because I, I didn't watch it because the internet went yeah, out. Yeah, I'll be honest. Like, like I said, once, once, um, what's it, Burchick? Uh, Bochuk. But once Bochuk. Uh, oh, good uppercut. Realized that, that, that one hurt him. That one hurt him. Yeah, but Borchuk realized that um, uh, or, uh, the other guy, the Nigerian fighters, uh, punch did not hurt him. He was over. It was done. And now he starts. Every time he gets touched with a punch, he starts holding off on him. Yeah, right? I mean he's beating the shit out. Of him. Wow. Remember I told you? Well, I said if he didn't slip to the right, like you say, if he stays a stationary target, you always say that. If you stay a stationary target, you're done. And that's what this guy's been doing. His punch is predictable. Look at his eyes. There's a bunch of swelling on his right Jesus. eye. And, and Bochuk's targeting the eye, left hooks, yeah. right hands, jabs, oh left God. hook. This guy's done. If this guy's corner has any common kind of decency, throw in the towel. Yeah, he's done. Throw in the towel. Ubogwe is getting messed up. I mean, shout you're out not going to gonna have a boxing career. Look at that. Ubogwe is getting fucked up badly. And, and Barachik knows it. Oh, they stopped it. Ubogwe's corner has thrown the towel, and that's it. You should have the BD, yeah. Good, good corner work. Yeah, enough is enough. So, enough is enough. You really well, you know, like that bet? Um, what's it, Chuck, Bola Chuck just stopped Ubogwe in the sixth round. So if you vote, if you if you bet money on Rafael Ubogwe, well, I hate to be the very bad news. You just lost your money. <laughs> you just you just lost your money on betting on Rafael Ubogwe. He he, he freaking got killed oh badly. And I expect that for the first round he looked good, but after that, after that. Bochuk made one adjustment, and he ne he had no answer for that one adjustment at all. At all. So Jeez. that's what it is, man. So six round stoppage, six round stoppage for Bochuk. Jesus. Ooh, look at the uppercut. uppercuts. Inside game. Right, right hands. Everything with the. Uh, shout out to the Ukrainian fighter. I didn't think he's gonna do that. I guess a Nigerian fighter, but he's my God. So that's what it is, man. Harold wants to know, BT, are you going live um, for the? Showbox card on Friday. Who, 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 who? I, I don't even know who's fighting on Showbox yeah. next Friday. He might need to tell me, tell me who's on that wow. card. Tell me, tell me who's in the car, Harold. So, yeah, Rafael Bogway, six round loss. Uh, a, a good win for uh, Sergey Bochuk to get back on track, get back to winning ways, and and, uh, and hopefully, for his sake, get back in the, in, the, in, the, in the contention for 154. So, yeah, man. So, six round style. If you're just tuning in, if you want to. I, I like your style better than the guy from Hugestown. The other fight, the other fight. Oh. Don't we just see earlier the Ali Ahmedov? 
Yeah, this guy's a lot of style different, better, more crisp. He's trained by Andy Reese, former trainer, Manny Robles. Former yeah. trainer. Oh, yeah, there he is, yeah. It's over, yes. For those of you asking, it's over. It's been yeah. over. It's over, man. It's been you over for about five minutes. Right? Sergey Bovichuk beat the fuck. Uh, stopped him. Yeah, he, was he dropped? No, he wasn't dropped. Um, just beat down. Just beat down. I mean, his corner. I he, think it would have been better to get dropped, to be the, honest. The, the corner basically stopped it, but the referee was going to stop it anyways. That just being what? So, Bovichuk, the first round, fought in a very conventional Eastern European stance, and the jab from Bovichuk was landing a lot. After that, all Bochuk did was take his lead hand and just bring it in a bit more, and he kind of fought with it right here. And from that moment on, he was able to block all, almost all the jabs and um, press forward, and, and, and that lets him dominate the fight from round two on. El Flaco, skinny. And why I think the first thing made a jumping was that uh, once he figured out that um, what's his name again? Obogwe. Obogwe then it wasn't hurting him. That was it. Everything he just kept coming forward, throwing punches, and constantly hitting him and hitting him, and it was it was getting hurt by Obogwe. Yeah, twenty and one, nineteen knockouts. Oh, I just realized. Yeah, this, 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 I think. Uh, yeah, 20, 20, 20 and 1 with 20 knockouts, not 20. Yeah. It's not 20 and 1 with 19 knockouts, it's 20. One. Doesn't that count as a knockout? It, 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 uh, TKO. TKO. Corner stoppage. Yeah. Bochuk took some years off of the Bogue. Absolutely. He ain't going to be the same. Beat him down, man. Beat the brakes off of him. That's why probably should have been stopped a round or two earlier. But the rugby is going to stop it anyway. Thank God that fight didn't get to the seventh, eighth, ninth round. Otherwise, we might have a, a yeah. death on our hands. It was, it was that kind of fight, a slow, methodical beating. Yeah. And Boy Boy didn't have no defense, nothing. After after round three, he was getting killed. I mean, eyes all puffy. Yeah, man. So, hey, that concludes what's been a, a pretty good out of boxing, surprisingly. Oh, surprising. I enjoyed it. I mean, step Tom, up. Tom Loeffler. Tom Loeffler was in his bag with the matchmaking. Yeah. Uh, next weekend is uh, Ja Rico Quinn versus Saul Sanchez. Now I have I, I've heard a little, a little bit about Saul Sanchez. I'll check it out. Why not? If you give me, if you if you give me that Showtime info, high roll, we get that Showtime. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll watch it. Why not? So let's put it out. I'll, I'll put it on mute. But um, I'm gonna say this, man. Listen, just a recap, a, a quick recap of what's happened on the card. You had um, Anderson. What was her name? Was it Anderson? I'm yeah, that right. girl. I can't remember her name right now. But um, she beat the shit out of uh, White. Oh, Vina White yeah. lost to uh, Cheryl Anderson. Cheryl Anderson was her name. I think it's Cheryl. Cheryl Anderson. Not Anderson. Alvina White lost her fight. Cheryl. Uh, four round decision to Anderson. Um, what's his name? Adrian Taylor got robbed in a really bad decision. Oh, where, where he should have won. Yeah. He should have won, but um, you know, basically, uh, they called it a draw. What was the other fight? Yeah, make, make it. What his name is? Japanese. Ali Ak made up one of his fight. There was another fight. That was a really good one. Uh, there was Taylor. No, it was uh, the oh, Brazilian the, guy. Corona. Adrian Corona. 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 Adrian, oh, that was the best fight. That was the best fight of the night. Adrian Corona, you know, a we guy who's 20, 21 years old, took on the 29-year-old Daniel Robles. And he, he, only had, the fuck out he only of had one knockout in seven fights, but he got a second knockout tonight. Knocked but, him out in the first knock round. Him out. You so, can't call yourself a dog. That, to me, to me, he, he is my performer of the night. He had the best performance of the oh, night yes, by yes. far. By and far. the females did too. I yeah. like that fight too. Probably the females as well. Yeah. But um, you know, look, I, I would say this card, if I had to give it a grade, A to F, I, I would say this card was uh, a solid B. Yeah, B, B, That's B. What, I'll give you the same B. thing. I B. can't call it a B plus, and I can't call it an A because well, B was good. Of what happened to uh, the judging was bad. Adrian though. Taylor. Yeah, yeah. And, that doesn't happen. And the co-main event and the main event being like non-competitive at all. Right, right, right. But but the Adrian Corona fight, the Adrian Taylor fight, good fights, good good competitive boxing on a Thursday night. And you know, what, 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 Listen, what? if I didn't fall asleep to this, this, this fight, I knew it was good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. They, 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 they got you into pre-heart attack, Nelson. Yeah, man. Because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? Jesus. A oh, man, the De Niro e Internet says, I, I won $50. Let's go. Congratulations, man. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys are wondering when the next live fight reaction is going to be, it'll be um, Saturday. We'll be live Saturday um, for the PBC card uh, featuring hard-hitting, lightweight prospect Ryle Valenzuela as he looks to run his record up and continue his progression in the, in the professional ranks of boxing. 
We're going, we're going live for that. And we'll be live Sunday for, um, what's his name? Sunday for uh, Malik Montgomery's fight. You know? Caleb Miller, what's good? Chevy says, what do you guys think of um, the Ryan Charlton fight versus Luke Willis fight on October 9th? I think, I think I'm going to put my money on uh, I have Ryan. I like Ryan. Luke what's his name? Ryan Charlton. Oh, I don't know who he is. I'm not even, is that a British fight? I'm not. I feel like I've heard of Ryan Charlton's name from. He's British, right? I could be wrong, but is he is he British? I'm not gonna really give my opinion because I don't have a, I don't have an opinion on that fight. But um, yeah, man, it was, it was overall good night of boxing. I can't I can't I can't complain. It was there's been a lot worse fights that we've gone live for than this one, and then this one was probably one of the better cards of the year. Oh, so, I enjoyed it. I uh, shout lot. out to you know Tom Loeffler and um, Roy Jones Jr. Boxing. Uh, he said yes. He said yes. Um, Luke Willis has a thick accent. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I, I'm not. I, I can't give you the opinion because I don't. I don't know much about who. I I'm, I feel like I've seen Rod Charlton fight one time, but I can't remember who he fought right now. So you might need to tell me who he fought for me to refresh my memory. But I I know I've I've seen the name before. Um, I have no side. I'm in the part where I can win without losing anything. This to me is <laughs> good answer. The U.S. Okay, shout out shout out to you, man. Get getting that paper. Getting that cash, getting that cash, get that guap, champ. Get that guap. But yeah, if you're just tuning in, Sergey Boa Chuck beat the brakes off of Rafael Obogwe. Obogwe, I think, is, he, he's never going to be the same after this fight because it was a slow, methodical beating from start to finish. And uh, he, he, he's, you know, God bless him. God bless him. And hopefully he has a, a speedy recovery because he's going he's gonna to definitely need it. But look, on that note, guys, I'm gonna end the live. I'm not gonna make this too long and drawn out. Guys. God bless. Uh, I'll be live for I'll be live for the next live fight reaction will be uh Friday, um Friday night for Ryle Valenzuela. I'll be live for his fight. Um, I might go live once before then, in between. Um, but I'll be live Saturday for that fight, Sunday for the fight, and then uh, we'll be live again oh, Saturday shit. next Saturday for Anthony Joshua versus um oh, Usyk. So a lot of lives coming up. You know, hopefully you guys join me and, and, and continue to support the channel. Thank you so much. Thank and all you. the content that you guys should be in here for sure. And, um, you know, look, look out for my post fight review videos recapping this fight um, and, and some of the fights on this card. And, yeah, like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding. Until next time, take care, guys.